Just kind of like make me feel weird. Yeah, I don't like them at all. Like just thinking about them, just like, ugh. Well, mm. so it doesn't help that they look like dicks, but also, you know, they like. Yeah, it's not. It's not that what they look it? like dicks. Like, Do we that's not a, it's just they look. They're all like slimy. No. They just crawl so around. So send like all of you invitations to join. Oh, the I already I accepted said... Robert's invitation. He did. Yeah. I've not what received about... an invitation from Robert. I gave Can I just say that, you know, I'm I'm probably a little bit slow on the uptake here, but the new Steam stuff is mm. shit. It's yeah, I'm not, I'm not a big fuck. fan of it, honestly. It's more I hate its guts. Oh, thank you, thank you. It's, it's, like, it's like less responsive. It's one probably... One. It looks, it looks yeah, okay, sure. I guess, but it's dumb as hell. It's, it's you know, the main thing I don't like about it is that it, it like, gives you multiple levels big. of the same people. So it, it it'll like there are like four Ryans on here. Like, mm. am I accepting the Ryan ball baseball or my? I, I don't know. I, I so I've accepted Robert's ball. invitation a couple of times, and every time it says connecting, and then it kicks me out. No, I'm hmm. in now. I don't know what's going on with that. You want me to try to invite you? Oh, sure. Yeah, please do. I don't know how. All right. Well, movies. that's thank you for wasting three seconds of my life. I won't get back. All right, now I'm gonna send invitations to you guys because I've accepted Roberts. Wait, you know I've got a join game option here, I, dude. Actually, beats me. I can't. Right. I can't accept. Did you get to the main menu and you hit accept? Because my flaw was I did it too early. Yes, I, I've been at the oh, main okay. menu. Hmm. That's correct. When you do it too early, it won't do anything. I believe now. this. Yes. Um, That's very strange. Yeah. So, okay. uh, so spam then? Yeah. 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 Right. Also, right, I think I'll my game your... is no. Don't don't join. I think my oh. super mega baseball has like is crashed. Yeah, I think yours is bugged out because I tried to join yours yeah. and now the party is just disbanded. It's all jammed up. I think. Yeah, yeah this is why. I think we've, you ever hear the expression uh, "failure to plan is a plan to fail"? Mm, no, never. Heard I think of I think we should that. print that like in the title for the show on all of our streams. How do you guys? Fail? ever like gone to the store and be like i'm gonna get some jam like is your in inner monologue like jam based or yeah. is it jelly based because hey, i'd love to have this conversation jam, 100%. i would jelly, just like jelly, to make jelly. sure to be in the game before we start the conversation well someone's connecting now, that, that so would be me yeah, Rob? yeah you left or did you guys get i'm in rob's oh yeah okay, right. Hey, all right all right, all right. We've done it. well, that, well, we'll why first. why is not everyone at 69 well, I'll we we can change it, but we change it when we get in the exhibition menu as well. Correct. Yes. I mean, do you want to play? I mean, sixty nine is a little. It's hard. I don't know. It's just a good number. Like, I'll go down, but just know that like I want to be there. I mean, if if you want to play it sixty nine, let's play sixty nine. Why not? We can do yeah. so, but I All mean, right. Ro I'm Josh, Robert, yeah. just yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, so now to answer your question, I very rarely purchase jam or jelly at the grocery store. I don't really think yeah, about yeah. it that much. But me too. But like, if you were to, would you be like, oh, I'm gonna go to like the, I'm looking for like something Preserve. to go with this peanut butter. I'm yeah. gonna get right. jam. Well, I you, I you think jam? I'm a jam guy. Yeah. Are You're we are we talking about fruit based products? Because I would probably go Nutella over any. Anyhow. Yeah, no, but that's not the question. It, this is that, that. Yeah, come on, but, man. So what I was asking, <laughs> don't logical extreme me already. Like you got to build up to that. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Well, then yeah, I would go jam. It's, it's jam. You would go jam. Yeah. You would go jam. Yeah. We don't I'm say just... jelly. Wait, what the? What's the difference? You can't jam jelly has... your dick down your mom's throat. Jelly is like concentrate. Sorry, mom. I know that you're watching, but. <laughs> 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 I prefer jam, personally. Yeah, yeah. I, guys, I have no idea how to play this game. Yeah, you know, no, I know. Funny is yeah, jelly well. is my jam. Mm. Ah, nice. Oh. Yeah, I like it. Oh, hey, speaking of jelly and jams, did you guys see that there's that politician who likes Bigfoot porn? I did. <laughs> no, what's, what's wrong that? with that? <laughs> well, Nothing's really wrong with it, necessarily. Yeah. I Are you kink shaming now? Is that what we're doing? <laughs> I just like having that kind of segue, to be honest, more than anything. I mean, not, not, not honestly. Not. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. You know, why the fuck is he called Bigfoot, not Big Feet? Or Big <laughs> Well, have you ever seen his feet? <laughs> yes, and they're big. Weirdo. Both of them. <laughs> okay. What are yeah. you implicating? So, are the is it the D pad or the face buttons that makes the runners move when I'm controlling the runners? Uh, it's the it's both. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 
He is correct. It is a deep yeah, both. Yeah. Oh. I don't know, who, oh thank who, you, Josh. Whose team am I on right now? It's you Sweet. and Nick. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You, well, you're on oh, my team. I'm going to be batting for you right now. Yeah, no, I'm oh. not. No, 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 it's not. You. Uh, yeah. There's a, there's a <laughs> lot of things going on. No, here. there's not. It's just Josh answers. Whenever Josh answers a question, he answers it in the most confusing way possible. Yeah, that's fair. See, when you Perfect. said who's on my team, Josh said I'm on your team. When he said your, he meant me. Not the person asking the question, which was you to begin with. <laughs> that makes no sense. Yeah, I yeah, know. That's very Oh, cool. you Here just grab the crotch. It's big mouth. He always comes out with the the crotch mm -hmm. grab. The DGX. So, is there a difference between D pad and face buttons on running? It, it doesn't matter. Okay. And what I mean by that is it doesn't matter if the game ends 20 to 0 or 6 5 because of base running techniques. It's just like, you know, it's just an engine for us to have this jelly jam conversation. Okay. Right. Oh, hey, Josh. That right. was fair? <laughs> Yeah, that's confusing. That really definitely didn't. probably should have been foul, but didn't think that was on the right side. Now the line, the, he uses a scalpel. Right. He's a Billy Bean baseball hitter. That was impressive. Oh, thank you. I'm pretty good at this game. A little check swing there. Oh, <laughs> you checked that swing out in ESPN's <laughs> top ten fails of the day. Wow. Very rude. Well, I mean, it was those were two bad swings. Uh, well, not as bad as that one wouldn't have been. Um, Nick, so how was what's your weekend? the deal with motorcycles? How was your weekend, Nick? You know, you get a bunch of sweaty men and you put them on motorcycles, no, see, and you wonder I know you've why already don't done they this. just buy a van? I saw your chat comment about this. Why don't they just get a ride-sharing program? What's the deal? What? I'm into it. 24 hours till Tuesday. Oh, that's a homer. Ooh, in it. let's yeah. go. Ryan, you're so good at this Thank game. Thank you. Like you I, every time. <laughs> Why do we need 20 different engines running at the same time when you could just get one? Do you think that way when you see uh, two cars driving together? Depends. Wait, driving together? You know, do like all of the, the cars other? have one person in them? Because that's oh, how motorcycles work. Do they have work? tandem yeah. cars? Like, uh, you know, like how they have the, you know, the, yeah. the student driver, but just make it so that both, like, one person controls yes. the gas and the other person controls the steering. No, it's yeah, a terrible fun. idea. I hit that one. That sounds great, right. honestly. You just open the left and right doors and you stick a rod out of it and you right. can hold yeah, on yeah. to the side. Yeah! Ho ho, baby! Ryan. I got a piece of the balls those times, Dude, I so mean, I, I got to give you some credit. You did the base running. Yeah, but I, you did you did a great job of, of swinging. Thank I you. have no idea what to do now. Uh, you, you catch the ball, and then you throw it. Which one is jump and which one's dive? You won't need to know that because I'm going to strike everybody else out. Okay. okay. You ever notice when you're out to dinner and the women get up and they all want to go to the bathroom at the same time? It's just like bikers. They all need to pull <laughs> Why are you the trying station? to force this biker bit so much? <laughs> they all got to go to the gas station it doesn't, together. What's the, the deal The premise with the of the joke is Why flawed to begin to with. To the gas station? They do. They pull off the highway and they all go to the gas station together. What's but if you're deal? on a bike, you don't have... What? They don't take gas? Are you Probably motorcycling? Yeah. He's talking about motorcycles, yeah. Yeah, I'm talking about motorcycles. I don't know why he bike. bizarrely is... He does not like motorcycle drivers, which I can relate to, to some extent. Um, do you shame Jerry Seinfeld for pointing out quirky things about our human nature? Do you uh, shame me for not being into Bigfoot porn? To some is extent, cool? I think Jerry Seinfeld gets... I think he is mocked a little bit. <laughs> How often do you yeah. guys shave your faces? Uh, uh, once a week. Like... Completely like with a razor nah, in your nah, face? Like with the with the trimmer. I do I get okay. the head and I get the face and that's <laughs> yeah. it. I get it all in one go. In one go. Oh you trim the head. You don't even you don't shave you don't like nah, razor it's too much. Your head? It, like it's too much work and oftentimes Did you see that? I knew exactly where to throw it. Oftentimes you cut your uh, I have like a little bump on the back of my head. And yeah. about once every six times, I would use a normal razor. I would slice it, and it would bleed oh. like I don't know Damn. how much blood goes through your head, but Tons. I do now. You give yeah, it like, I don't like a that at all. You give it did like ever, a little. Did you ever get that ATV razor blade? 
Uh, the APB razor blade. No, ATV. No. It's like the ATV for your head. By do you have? Did you ever get? <laughs> did you mean? No, did you ever get it? Of course I had it. That's how you're aware of it in the first place. Oh yeah. It's like a four wheeler <laughs> just drives around your head. It has wheels. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's adorable. It. You know, I think it's. A, I used one for like two years. I think it's a gimmick, but uh, it, it also got the job done. The idea is what? because of the fact that it has wheels, you know, your head's all spherical, right? So you can put a little bit of pressure on it and maintain, you know, being close to the, the skin. My head's an oblate spheroid. I believe that. I don't know what it means, but I believe it. You don't want to run to second again? Uh, it it's seems slightly oblong on one side. When I'm in control of the base runners, that's Billy Bean. When Josh is in control of the base runners, it's Charlie Sheen. <laughs> I don't get what that's supposed to mean. It it's from the you, got, you got tiger's blood. Yeah, Josh. tiger blood. Yeah. Mm. Oh, Mathis, you really blew that one, buddy. It's like dragon energy. Oh, God. <laughs> but yeah, yeah uh, once a week. How often do you shave, Josh? I mean, you're a working man. I'm a working man. Oh. Mathis is so slow. Do you see he, that? That was the uh, slowest was thing. Extremely slow. Yeah. Come yeah. on, man. That is extremely slow. I even know hoodie. probably take uh, like my my trimmer to my face. Uh, probably like maybe once a month. One, uh, do you have a beard? Easy. What? So do now you he have has a, a mustache. Do you have a beard? He does. He's got like a beardy thing going on. I get a I get a beardy thing that goes. But yeah, I would say like. Once I get a beardy two. thing that it goes. Yeah, maybe it's like once or twice a month. <laughs> maybe it's like a twice a monther. I never it's know not... what you look like until I see you post a photo. Because like everybody yeah, most else. Most of my photos right now that I post are just Lady Grey. Look at this woman who's just flaunting her big bad dick. Everybody yeah, else Irene fast, dude. that streams is trapped in like a time capsule. They look exactly the same as they did in 2013. Just a little yeah. bit older maybe. And then, like, Josh, you're always, you know, you had one of those, like, man bun sort of things for a bit. You get, sometimes you have I a like beard. That. I thought it was cool. Sometimes you got, like, long hair. Sometimes you got short hair. Yeah, sure, I like to mix yeah. it up. Yeah, you, you mix it up on the regular. You mix it mm -hmm. up a lot, yeah. Sometimes you need to. It's the variety is the spice of life. I've heard that, yeah. When you're bald, so it's like a Super right. Nintendo game. Like, you, facial hair or no facial hair. That's it. If you want it, I could grow in my hair and look like George Costanza if I wanted to. Oh, as tempting as that is. Do, you should do the full facial hair. Just get like a big old beard. Dude. No, because my, like it gets, it's too big, honestly. Yeah, but then you'll look really intimidating and scary. I don't think so. I think I would just look, <laughs> I think I would just look like a large baby. I think, because you know, you oh, sometimes you scary. Honestly, if, if you see like a bouncer and they have, they're bald and they have a beard, oh, minus ninety nine accuracy. Oh, yeah, baby. that's my bad. That was wild. That's all right. But then if you see a dude who's like, you know, he's not really like in shape and he's bald and he has a beard, I don't know. I just look at that and I'm like, that looks like someone who has a, a young infant son and like mm. runs a bed and breakfast. I would say it looks like, like you're describing Dennis, to be honest. <laughs> like an atheist that has a podcast. Mm, I don't know this one. No, I'm not okay. sure. I, I don't know why, but in my head, I'm just picturing that. Vladimir Lenin. <laughs> oh, okay. No, he's an atheist with a podcast. Dude, if podcasts existed back in like you know the early 1900s, you know Lenin would have been all over it. He would have been great, honestly. Yeah. But he he's would very always charismatic, wasn't he? He'd, well, he'd have all these problems though, because you got to remember. Okay, that's fine. Um, you got to remember, like, how are I you going to bad. promote your podcast <laughs> and make money off of it? Squarespace. Yeah. That's gonna, know, right? Exactly. Yeah. That's going to be hard for him because of the whole capitalist tendency behind it. Well, what's the other option other than than Squarespace? <laughs> it's Dollar Shave Club. Right? Ah. And they come back around. Mm, but then wouldn't it be Free Shave Club? Uh, the no. dollars distributed amongst the that's proletariat. That's a load Okay, that's fair, yeah. Yeah, he would definitely be a streamer. Yeah, I would also like to think that Jesus Christ would be a streamer, and probably Gandhi as well. Mm -hmm. Most of yeah. history's great men would probably be Twitch streamers, is my what guess. What would Gandhi stream? Everything? A American Truck Simulator? American Truck Simulator. I actually thought you said American <laughs> Chess Simulator. No, okay. Truck. He likes Truck. Truck. He'd probably be good at chess. I can imagine. Why? I don't know. Because he's, he's like Indian? Smart dude. He's a smart dude. 
I mean, where are you sorry. going? Where are you going with the racist? Well, I don't know. You you know Wait, nothing I mean, about Gandhi's ability to play hey, chess, and you said hey, he's probably a good chess let's player. Cool it over here with <laughs> all that. Biz. I didn't even know that was a thing. Is that a, is that a stereotype? Yeah, wow, there's been dude. Indian world chess champions. Vizwanathan Anand. What's a Have you okay, ever see seen that? doing? Yeah, see <laughs> that, that that's highly. <laughs> <laughs> I just like the way that you said it. <laughs> that Maybe you could get okay. online and own some people at chess, Ryan, and then you could talk over <laughs> it's a it. Good and name. Talk shit at them. No, because I think like if you're really, really good at chess, you could be better than Twitch chat. But you know, I'm only like decent, so I think Twitch uh, chat would be better than me, and that would be a bad time. Yeah, I guess that's right. Yeah, you would be really bad at chess. It would just be really satisfying though to get that one guy who's like, I'll be ah, yes, son of a. And then he shows up. <laughs> how do you, and he's how do you check swing mid swing? Uh, you, you, you ever hear the expression, again. an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure? Pound of cure. That too, yeah. Solve that riddle, you'll find out the answer is just press A again. <laughs> I really thought you were going to rhyme in that sentence for mm, some reason. See, that's uh, of... rap music corrupting the nation's youth. Promoting yeah. gun violence and always leading people to think that every sentence has to rhyme with the one before it. Mm -hmm. When I was pitcher last time, I didn't change my pitches at all. Yeah, I just <laughs> right? I don't mind. Yeah, I keep doing that honestly. Yeah, but anyway, my point is, Gandhi seemed like a pretty smart guy. Yeah. How do you know? Do you know him? No, not really. He was actually an idiot. <laughs> you should have got to get, tried to get to know him a little bit better. <laughs> I should have, yeah, you know, you're not wrong. Right. You really messed that up. Bro. Maybe if he had friends like you, he'd still be alive. Yeah, maybe, yeah. <laughs> was Gandhi assassinated? What are you just throw a damn strike? You're on my team and there's a mind game. Look at that. You gotta Round wait up. for the right throw. Right Gosh, to you. Okay. Gandhi is not still alive. <laughs> I don't. I didn't know if he. Not alive. I didn't know if he was assassinated. Because I haven't seen the movie. <laughs> That's the only way to know. Ah, you dirty bitch. Hey, he was <laughs> born in like 1870. Yeah, dude. That's what but you think. Well, you know, could be so the is your mother. Person on Earth by a long shot. That's a good point. So. Oh is your shit. Mother. That's nice. all right. Good I pressed Y and I should have beat. I take a single. Sorry, Ryan. I think. That's nothing to worry about. I'm worried about it a little. Correct. Ben Kingsley yep. is still alive. And that's good Why? for all of us because if we yeah. need somebody to star as the bad guy in the Splinter Cell movie adaptation, yeah. he's your man. I do really like Ben Kingsley as an actor, actually. Who's Which one's Ben Kingsley? He played the he's villain. The bald guy. In uh, well, he was in Iron Man three. He played the Mandarin, and then he okay, was, yep, 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 yep. He was in Prince yep. of Persia. He played the Sands of Time. <laughs> How do I switch who I be? I can't. Oh, why? Oh. No. I feel like we should take advantage of that. No, yeah. No, never mind. Yeah. Okay. All right. So like, right it has call. me as right a circle call. in like far left field, and then suddenly <laughs> I'm a man who's in center. How does that work? I didn't know what to press. I didn't press anything. It just made me a man. <laughs> I didn't ask to be that man. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. I didn't like. Who it. did really? Mm -hmm. Nice, good, good, great throw. So maybe it's unique to male bonding, but leave it to bikers to put oh, themselves shit. in a position <laughs> where I love it when they just grab they, the back. So by they their get kids. on the bike, they rev the engine, run, run, run. You can't hear anything they're saying. Like George. Do you want to go to the biker bar and hang out? Uh -huh. And George is like, I can't hear you. Let's go to the biker bar and hang out. And they go to the biker bar. And George, can you hear anything over the music? No, I can't. I, what is the point of male bonding to never interact with each other, bikers? Is it, What's the name of that uh, that show that Hellboy was in about bikers? Mm, Sons of Anarchy. About? Sons of An Is this like a Sons of Anarchy Seinfeld crossover kind of thing? Is that what's I, happening? If you want it to be. I mean, I do. Your guy oh. just gave up. Oh, yeah. Austin. What a hit. That was good. <laughs> Sons of Yo. Anarchy, I'm just going to say, is one of those shows, and this is really rude, and I can't wait to see the reaction. Ooh, is, okay. It's one of those shows I knew I should never watch see. because the only people who told me to watch it are people that I thought sucked really bad. <laughs> I never watched it. 
Like, I had a co-worker in Korea that's like, I gotta get home so I can see Sons of Anarchy. And I was like, cross that show off the list. I made it to the base! What are you doing there? Alright, let's go to the base. Uh, base, yeah, yeah, base. Yeah. What's the what's the sign I look for again? Uh what you want P? Sam Darnold. You want a you want a an, Tom an RP. You want Tom RP. Arnold. What would the Tom picture. Arnold drink be? I don't crazy. I have an Arnold Palmer. So it'd be an Arnold There's Palmer. There's a Tom Collins. A Tom plus Collins Tom plus an Arnold Palmer. Dude, oh. that's a that's a workable joke. You could have put that in a Scrubs episode. <laughs> Or like an episode of The Office, like Michael Scott would order a Tom Arnold, <laughs> and then he would explain Sam what it is. Sam Darnold. Sam Darnold. It's just Sam any Darnold. picture with RP. There aren't any. Well, then there are several. You wait, just said I can't... there were three. Oh, I. Okay, wait. I know what I did wrong. <laughs> One more time. I don't think you could do it on this. Oh pitch. shit! I took. So the... what is it? Tell me. What's the drink? What's well, in it? I think uh, you Tom just... Collins is like. Is that what it is? You just. An Arnold Palmer, Palmer, Palmer is Tom, iced Tom tea Collins plus lemonade. Just, what? Do you want me to answer it, your question or do you want to talk? <laughs> well, it, I asked the question. And, and then, then no I answered your anything. question and you just and talked then, over my that, answer. So I decided to talk again and then now you started to talk after I'm mad at you. <laughs> like, I'm not going to Don't talk understand. Over just talk to me. Okay, an Arnold Palmer is iced tea plus lemonade. Correct, yeah. And uh, I don't I don't remember what a Tom Collins is, but it's like gin and something else. Triple sec. Mmm, triple sec. Sounds lemonade. like a sci-fi movie. Mm. Gin and lemon drink. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> like instead of like lemonade. Like neo citron. Like it could probably be like lemon juice and and in seltzer water. Maybe. Well, I mean, no. It just won't let you. You, at all. you can do it yeah. now. You just can't do it when you're on the same batter that you tried to do it on before. Oh, you're right. So the problem I was having is I assumed that it would assume the pitcher is who I want to substitute. All right, you got six seconds. Though. <laughs> oh. You just gotta do it. It's not. It should give right me a spot. run. <laughs> oh. Wait, you replaced your left fielder with another I didn't left have... fielder. You replaced your left fielder. <laughs> <laughs> left fielders are replaced. That's good. Hold on, I'm I'm mind flooded. <laughs> okay, yeah, get me out of here. <laughs> Oh my god. All right, well, there you go. Hey, Mojo up. Yeah, there you go. Get Rob, some can you Mojo switch back. the pitcher later? Because I don't know how to Yeah, I'll, I'll switch it next time. Thank I'll you. <laughs> okay, hit Y. I'm not doing it anymore. Oh, okay. Well, let's, let's hit a home run <laughs> off your crappy pitcher then. That's what I get for trying to help. I'm trying to help you. I don't want to keep your viewers tied down with my nonsense. <laughs> I care too much about it's, them. And, and it's a patronage. simple, it's a step, like a six step process. Yeah, it's a I step, thought it's a it was step. simple. I got in the middle of it and I was just out at sea. It's a stipple stipulation. Stim Irrevocably out at sea. Stim pack. Oh. <gasps> Let's oh, go. Oh no. Nope. Oh, Touch this man! <laughs> Ow. Hell Brian. yeah! Brian, what the f- well, what I the went fuck? for it. I thought he was fast. He was you pretty thought... fast, I mean... Ryan. I honestly thought he was gonna make it. Ryan! He almost made it, to be honest. Nah, I mean, he was doing like a lead... That might have been Mathis as the lead runner, so... Wait a minute, I'm not gonna apologize for that! Apologize Catch the ball, you madman! What me. the fuck?! <laughs> <laughs> you just stood there and looked at it, you son of a gun! I thought it was you. We gotta get our head in the I'm game. pitching! I'm just mad because I hit all four of these runs home. I'm so... Yeah, only because I let you. <laughs> Here it comes. Josh, how was your weekend? It was okay, now that you mention it. I saw that video of you getting licked on the head by your cat, and I'm going to be yeah, honest, it grossed me the fuck out. Oh, wow. oh, yeah? I mean, it was also cute. It's good that your cat is, like, grooming you. It's a great sense of, like, you know, you're bonded, right? trying to be friendly. But I was also like, your hair was wet with cat saliva. <laughs> no, that, the... I just got out of the shower. It was in the morning. Mm. You shower in cats? Wait, I think. Maybe, it, no, maybe I was wrong. Maybe I was actually just saliva. I think it was no. cat saliva, dude. Yeah, they don't, I mean, they it's don't possible. They that much, right? Yeah, I mean, I mean they're tons they're of full of dry. It, man. They got a ton All right, this is you. He's it's so slow. You man. I can't <laughs> you believe you. Me? <laughs> You're just the absolute devil. Got him. Got, out. got him. <laughs> you are a poop. It's better that way, man. dude. It's better that way. <laughs> Yeah, cats can drool the same way dogs can drool. They, they're full okay. of saliva sometimes. 
Chat, you want to go down this road? That's fine. You, I did, I'm did. i shaming Josh for being groomed by his cat. I do drink coffee on the toilet. I'll admit. Oh, you drink what? coffee on the toilet? Is that a I do What's indeed. What's wrong with that? Really? Oh, no. As soon as I realize I'm aligned with Rob, I start to question the decisions <laughs> Wait, that have led me to this point. What's the wrong with drinking coffee on the toilet? I, sadly, I just I agree. rarely put myself in the position where I'm like eating or drinking in the bathroom. Mm. Well, eating, I think, is probably a step. It's a problem. little too far. What I the would, fuck yeah. is the difference between eating and drinking in the bathroom? You, you don't well, get crumbs when you drink. But also, if you get crumbs and you're on the dang toilet, then like you just goes down to the toilet. What if it lands in your pubes? Who cares? Then you got well, nacho you cheese, cheese in your pubes, and you <laughs> yeah, you gotta shave them off. You lick it off. That's the. Yeah, you get Lady Grey. Do you like the coffee on the <laughs> toilet because you find it as like a nice bowel relaxing shitting drink? No, basically, here's what it comes down to: is every morning when I wake up, there's a halo and etc. But uh, yeah, I uh, I have like two desires. One of my desires is to have caffeine, and one of my desires is to evacuate my bowels. I see no good reason not to pair them. I, I mean, all right. I mean, I, if that's what you're into, you not, then that's you what you're into. Like I'm not gonna kick shame you, but I think it's just. Well, here's the thing. You know, I've been smelling my own shit for like 29 years. Dude, it's it smells pretty good. Sorry to hear that. Well, it's like oh, neutral. It, it's neutral. Like forever. Like you never smell anything else. Just poop. I mean, it just you know, like roughly. Sounds like Summit 1G. That's awesome. Roughly yeah, once you know. a day, I smell my own poop, and that's fine. Yeah. Thanks, Rob. Yeah. Doesn't yeah, bother yeah. me. But, like, you're trying to enjoy your coffee is the thing, and the coffee is corrupted by the poop stink. It's not really corrupted. Right. I mean, I don't even notice it. So, like, if you... you... Poop stink? Anytime you drink coffee, you have to Not poop? anytime I drink coffee, I have to poop. Okay. If I if I poop in the morning... Oh! <laughs> if I poop in the morning, wow. I have... Uh, Sam Darnold, baby, just got his contract! I have Sorry, my coffee on the... I have my coffee what time do you wake up in the morning, Ryan? Eh, try, to, try to aim for, like, 10, 10, 30 most of the time. Okay. That's kind of late. You get to sleep in a little bit. You tell. Well, it's not really sleeping in because I go to bed at like two. Oh, why? Yeah. Want to? Okay. Do you want <laughs> it's just to? Just not healthy though? for you. I, I think it is not unhealthy for you. I just told you it's unhealthy. Yeah, but you don't Shotgun know. Shotgun of Madrinas, <laughs> suck that boy down and shit my pants. <laughs> <as> my <dad>. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, to put it into perspective, I don't. Really drink on the toilet, but I wouldn't have a problem. I don't think it's that bad. Water dude. bottle on. In What's more something? normal, coffee or beer on the toilet? Definitely coffee. I've drank more beer on the toilet than the coffee. <laughs> what? What happened? <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> on no. my screen, the fielder waved off everybody else, and then the ball landed like 20 meters behind her. And as soon <laughs> oh. as it landed, it teleported into her glove for an out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we can win this. That was great. <laughs> I believe that's funny. How do you drink beer in the shower? Doesn't the water go in the beer? You should no, not you drink a, beer. You're in the not shower. drinking beer out of a glass in the shower. Okay, you have a vessel out of a speaking, bottle. Speaking of weird things to do in the shower, I, I can. Dennis, preferably. Dennis has told me that he likes to smoke cigarettes in the shower. Yes, the, and I, how? I don't know the logistics <laughs> of that. How? How you can do? That. Is it a vape? Uh, is he taking a bath? I dude, I don't know. I don't know how he's doing. I could probably maybe do it's it. a bath. A shower beer is a way for people to drink alone but pretend that they're a part of something. That's my right, hypothesis yeah. on. If our Why shower beers like just is like a... no, like shower beer is like the beer that you like when you when you're gonna go out. You know that you're going out. You know you're gonna shower bit beforehand, anyways. You know you're gonna pregame before you go out. It's just like that's killing time. Who's pregame? We're in we're in our thirties. Who's pregame? Ryan, <laughs> I gotta tell you that you're old as fuck and you're younger than me. <laughs> you're still pregaming when you go out to a bar, dude. All pre. Do you know how expensive it is out there in Pittsburgh? <laughs> how often do you tr go to bars actually? Uh, probably like once a week, on weekends. Oh, okay. Yeah, Boy, I like that move. Sometimes during the week, we'll like, cause we went to like wing night or something like that last week, and so like that was at the bar. Did you pregame wing night? No, but okay. I didn't shower before wing night. <laughs> if you, oh, <laughs> I like that. that if you sense, shower yeah. before you go to a bar, you have to have a beer. Right. I'm not saying that you have to. I'm just saying that it could be considered customary. Mm, customary? <laughs> yeah. Why not? Why did I? Chad's explaining what pre-gaming is to me. Let me tell Josh will tell you. Me and this guy have pre-game 
probably more days than you've been alive on planet Earth. <laughs> I'm just saying, my insides are so mixed up these days, I don't need the pregame anymore, because, like, you know, one reasonably priced lager is enough to get me going a little. Well, that's you. It must be nice. It is and it is isn't. Squelch in the background. What you call me? Squelch. He called you a squelch. Ah, oh, that's very rude. And then he said have, that you're in the background. Don't you have shit to do in so the shower that. when you're showering? That's I don't know. I I'm inverted from everybody else because my I poop for a long time, but my showers are very fast. And the same people are like, "What do you do when you poop?" I'm like, "What do you do when you shower? You get wet. You put soap everywhere. We have hair. Perhaps yeah. Okay, you put shampoo in your hair. Big whoop. It takes ten seconds. It is a big whoop. It takes a little little time. It takes a I mean, very a, little time. Yes. In complete fairness, I probably haven't pre-gamed in like close to a decade now, so it's it's been a while. Really? Yeah. I just I I don't have the desire to go to parties anymore, really. So that's the, kind of the only time I ever want to pregame. You know? Oh well, now right, we're in post fair. game, so no I more mean, game. Sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. We, we also yeah. don't really pregame because my wife is a very tiny lady. And I think wait, if we wait, wait if who we, is my wife? My wife. Yes. yes okay. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I think if we pregamed, that would be the game. Yeah, pre-gaming then... is slang for masturbation. Have you ever seen something about uh -huh. Mary? It's like going outside with a loaded gun. Yeah, you gotta get weapon. that. Yeah, yeah, you gotta yeah. get that out of there. Mm -hmm. not, no, no pressure. Josh, you sure you want to be on ninety-nine? You guys don't want to be. I mean, I'll, ninety-nine I'll is not worth it. <laughs> How could he not find the jizz on his ear? I still don't understand. Yeah, who jizzed yeah, on whose ear? Ben Stiller ben jizzed on his Stiller. own ear. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's weird. How and then, like, he didn't know that it was face. jizz? Like, how does that happen? She you know? saw it, and she's like, oh, is that hair gel? Like, like you've never seen jizz before? What are you doing? Or you've never, like, yeah, yeah it's got an odor to it. Yeah, you would definitely <laughs> be able to smell that on your finger. It's like, oh. Like, I also like, just like, don't even understand. If it, even if it was, like, odor, like, even hairstyling stuff has an odor. Like, it smells like something. Yeah. It yeah, sure as hell is jizz. You know that that solid yellow color, right? So just, that's it was piece. it was very grayish. Let well, me just ben think Stiller's about is. the kinematics. How yeah, did he get? Do. How did he get us to lactite of cum stuck to his ear? It doesn't make. Did he come <laughs> on his ear? Wait, it was and on it, his ear? Wasn't it, it in his hair? No, it was on his ear. No, it was on his ear. That's even head. more stupid. And then she takes it and she puts it in her hair. It Off just doesn't make load. any sense. Yeah. How yeah. it got stuck there like an icicle. Uh huh. Was he jerking off in a walk-in freezer? <laughs> Does it make any sense? <laughs> yeah, it does. Did it did it land on his hair and then, uh, you know, like drip downwards over time? I yeah, think that was part of the mystique of it, right? Like he didn't know how it got there. Neither did the audience, so we were no. all shocked together. M mystique was an X Men. Yeah, it's it uh, Jennifer movie, Lawrence yeah. or Rebecca Romijn. Well, like it's X just, I just don't mystique think it's ever happened to another though. human being. Like that's, no, it's never happened. You I guys, understand like movie magic and like. You know, willful suspension of disbelief. Like I watched, I watched professional wrestling. Like that exists, but that's that's too much. Mm -hmm. Like I mean, that's it's real. You guys ever see those uh, pictures of people like peeing in the in a very cold climate and then the pee gets frozen? No, right. no. But yeah. I would <laughs> like to try that <laughs> sometime. That? Apparently, I've seen people throw in water into the air. Yeah. yeah. Well, I apparently it can happen. To anyway, my my question how cold is. It is. <laughs> My question is, uh, if you jizz in a very, very cold climate, do you, uh, Whoa. is that gonna freeze? No, absolutely not. Okay. Jizz is unfreezable. It's mostly protein. Mm. Can't freeze Wait. jizz. That's just science. You can freeze. Well, it's like, it's not gonna freeze instantly. Mm. Nuts. Jizz is anti- what do you think they put in your car? <laughs> like, um... Anti-jizz, yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> no, it's just regular <laughs> jizz. It's anti-freeze. Oh, uh, right. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense, yeah. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> what was I thinking? That's how it cleans your windshield so well. You guys ever go to Jizzy Lube? <laughs> Actually, I usually got my car inspected there. Mm. <laughs> One time they took me under to show me the undercarriage of my car. I didn't know they had a whole freaking section, like a cave yeah. underneath the building. Uh, and you did it? Walk what do you think there? that they yeah, did? Yeah, you drive over thought, that thing, and then they uh, yeah. they work on your car from down there. I thought they had just like a channel, like a little uh, bunker under, like a tunnel to walk through. But I didn't know it was an entire floor. You I go thought, down the uh, stairs, you look up, and there's just cars above you. It's crazy. Correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't yeah. Jiffy Lube like... Jizzy Lube. Jizzy Lube, yeah. Isn't Jizzy Lube like uh, it's a scam, right? 
Why? It's expensive, Why but like they, they, you they go do in there the things fast. But you go in there for an oil change, and then they're like, "Oh, your car's all freaked up. You gotta, you know, you got water on your knee. Operation. You, that'll be a hundred dollars. Yeah, and then you gotta yeah. be like, "Don't fix that. Just change the no. oil." Yeah. Dude, speaking of real scams, it's not a uh, scam. There's a uh, there's a junkyard where you get your cars repaired in in New York. Apparently, it used to be owned by the mob. Mm. Anyway, there's there's two routes in. There's the one main route that comes like right off the highway, and then there's like this backdoor route that you go down. And the reason you want to go down the backdoor route is because apparently in the morning they just like toss out a bunch of like nails and broken glass and shit. Oh wow! The front entrance. <laughs> yeah, I only know that because Dennis used to work at one of those car repair shops and he used to, you know, toss some glass and nails down. Wow. <laughs> yeah. As far as I'm concerned, Jiffy Lube has not been a scam for me. Uh, I went for my inspection. Usually my inspection was fine. They'd ask for like $20, and then that would be that. Sometimes I had actual problems with my car, and technically they saved my life once because I had a crack in my axle, and I didn't know about it, so they caught it. And, Did you see it? Uh, yeah, they brought me under. They showed me everything that was wrong. They, they, they showed you the, the axle? Wheel. Yeah, we went under together, and that's why I knew about the cave underneath. They wiggled the wheel and I saw what they were talking about and I'm like, geez, that's actually really bad. And so I brought it home and then I got rid of that car. I'm Maybe just saying, that's is weird. there a chance that they cracked it? Perhaps with an oversized hammer? No, no I was pretty sure that car had issues before it came in. Maybe they used one of those rock hammers, the yeah. metal hammer things. Yeah. Oh, that was right down the gullet. I mean, if they did crack it, you're right, that'd be a really bad scam. Yeah. Super messed up, yeah. Don't! And if they are a scam and I'm misrepresenting them, then my apologies. Dude, but I've, I've only got my own experience. What if they use a pyramid to crack it? Would it then be a pyramid scheme? Scam? <laughs> pyramid scam? Yeah. Huh. Rob, how did you let him get a home run? Uh, I wasn't pitching, so. Oh, yeah. I'm Damn really it. good at batting. Technically, I didn't. I gave up two runs in the last inning, though. You don't talk to me like that. <laughs> Just tell you. Just telling you how well, it is. if you weren't pitching, that means Josh was pitching. Yeah, you're pitching. <laughs> Wait, am I on? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you're on Josh's yeah, team. <laughs> Do they have underneath the baseball field, like, a bunker like they have in Jiffy Lube? Mm, I think the basement of, I mean, there's a dugout. It's a little different. Yeah, but, like, can you go under the field while they're playing? I bet there is an yeah. underground, and it has, like, you know, some of the industrial and utility stuff, right? Is it weird that I'm, like, incredibly excited by the idea of that? That there's think... a basement? Like, <laughs> you can go under the field? That seems so cool. You think, you know, like, how bars have those big kegs in the bottom that uh, have, like, a tap? You think you think Jizzy Lube has a bunch of, like, big bats that come down there? Oh, dude. Yeah, absolutely. Right? Yeah. Precisely. Who do you think? The question is... Who do you think fills them? Right. Mm. Good question. Oh, it's got to be Mr. Lube. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you guys have that chain in, uh, in America. But we, have, we have Mr. Lube in Canada. So. In, in, uh, in the U.S., or actually in, Pen in Pennsylvania, we have Quaker Steak yes. and Lube. Which Come is on. like, <laughs> maybe, it's, maybe it's a little bit. Why? So, Robert, by the way, this is bullshit, and I should be safe three. on second. But what am I supposed to do? That's your, that's why the infield fly rule exists <laughs> to prevent that exact situation. <laughs> yeah. Does anybody here work on a baseball field that can tell me about the underground? Oh, it's bad, it's bad. Is it? I'd like to know if there's <laughs> any details. <laughs> Actually, I would have made that same mistake. That but was you also not mistake, third. So that's true. <laughs> that yeah. is first. Yeah, yeah. Threw it to first and got the last out. <laughs> yeah, but like second was also right there, and he was forced to it. Well, I'm just like I'm hyper paranoid about the Jiffy Loop thing because I'm getting my oil changed on Friday, so I gotta wait. Where? Uh, well, I'm not gonna tell you where, but it's not a Jiffy Loop. But you said Jiffy Loop. Yeah, there's multiple places that do oil changes. There's. You oh, know, are you sure? Yeah. Why did you, you go to your dealership? That? Yeah, right, I'm not, I'm not gonna pitching? go to my dealership because I will not pay Ford another dollar. God damn it! As wait, far as I'm oh, concerned, the Ford. Okay, well, I did, but we buy our th cars over three years old now, so we're out oh of the God, scheduled maintenance. So... I didn't realize it was yeah. so long ago now. I won't give the Ford. I hope the Ford Motor Corporation withers on the vine. I hope that everybody works there. <laughs> oh I hope that everybody who works there goes and gets jobs at better organizations, and I hope that the executives 
crumble into dust and are washed away by the winds of time. Wow, that's very On the contrary, socialist I'm of you. Incredibly happy with my uh, Honda, so. I, I, I'm not mad. I agree. I, <laughs> any other company, basically. Jeez, uh, cool it, Bernie. I have a Chrysler. <laughs> <laughs> if Ford approached you with a sponsorship offer of one million Canadian dollars, would you take it? Yes, yes, I would. <laughs> Privately, I would hold the belief that I want the company to fail. Publicly, I'd be fucking balling. Are you kidding me? Yeah. How stupid do you think I had some million dollars? Yeah. <laughs> I would yeah, take it in a which, heartbeat. Anyone wanna pop a pop a million dollars on my uh, stream right now? That's I noticed nice. that tweet. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. What? That tweet? I made that, and then I you made a million dollars. I just pitched uh, three strike outs, three outs. That's <laughs> <laughs> hey. okay. <laughs> yeah. Nice, yeah, dude. Pitch. Does yeah? Does does the other person want to pitch? No. <laughs> I thought you'd be excited because I'm on your team, Ryan. <laughs> oh, dude, thank you. Yeah, <laughs> you're welcome. Yeah, you're welcome. Oh, that's yeah, funny. you're welcome. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the dog just went up and eat it. <laughs> the umpire right. looks really creepy. I did see yeah. that video from whatever it was from One Tree Hill or whatever, where the dog yeah, yeah. The dog just went up and heart. eat it. Yeah, yeah, that was that was very strange. Is there any companies you'd say no to a $1 million sponsorship? Um, yes. Probably like Lockheed Martin. Yeah, yeah fuck yeah. those guys. Fuck you, Lockheed. I don't know, I'd probably still take it from Lockheed Martin. They'd would have you go to Pfizer? Bad. Yes, I would probably... I would I would pimp <laughs> Pfizer for a million dollars. I mean, in Hell Canada, yeah. drugs are cheap. Doesn't bother me. Apple? Cheap-ish. Cheap oh, of course! <laughs> That's your example of the, the third most evil company on Earth. Subway? <laughs> Apple? Yeah, Subway. What about what Nestle? About Subway? How about Nestle? Absolutely. Subway, Nestle, 100%. Wow. Ne you, you wouldn't take you Lockheed can. Martin, but you'd take Nestle. Lockheed Martin manufactures, like, Hellfire missiles. Yeah, yeah. but, like... What's, yeah, those are kind of cool. <laughs> they are those sick. Those are pretty cool, yeah. I can't deny that. Nestle also, like, you know, <clears throat> murders people. I guess less directly than Hellfire. Who yeah, they, they, they do it through, uh, through less direct means. Yeah, they don't blow people up. They just let them, you know, die of thirst. Yeah, it's a different. He died story. of the dehydration, coach. <laughs> That's why they call it Nestle Quick because it gives you a quick death. Mm -hmm. Actually, we were hanging out with Corey on Saturday. He gave me a bottle of water, and I looked at him like he'd lost his friggin' mind. I had seen I don't drink this shit. Well, I hadn't seen a bottle of water in like three months. Like, you can really? still Why? buy this? This isn't illegal? What happened to wa water in Canada? Well, it just feels weird to have, like, oh, a plastic get bottle. Oh, plastic thing. Yeah. Right? Like, we don't... Plastic straws are illegal in Vancouver. Or becoming illegal really? this year. Really? Yeah, for real. That's crazy. Good. So just to get a plastic bottle, and I'm like, they made this just to hold this water I'm going to drink in four seconds? Give you a cardboard box? How do you get water? It's, there's a paper straw. Paper straw? How does I'm that gonna, work? I'm going to fucking love it. So it's like, it's like a toilet roll, basically. But and it fucking they suck. I support it. Yeah, you're supposed to suck. I, I get you're supposed, you're supposed to, to suck. Do. But I get that, like, um, you know, it, like for environmentally. Well, look, at how, look how Josh shakes his butt. Environmentally, <laughs> I support it a hundred percent. The straws are so much worse, though. It's a price yeah. I'm willing to pay. But if you don't drink the whole drink in like under three minutes, they get soggy and they bend weird and. You know, like they get a little wet at the top, and you get like a little paper taste a little bit. Oh, yeah, yeah. I get a little wet at the top sometimes. What's it, Ca Canada? You know, you got your bag milk, you got your paper straws. What's happening over there, man? Well, I mean, plastic bags are—they're uh, upsells yeah. here now. Five cents Box, a bag. Yeah. Fox chicken. Yeah. Wait, does that include milk bags? You, uh, I don't know. You might pay a deposit on milk bags, but I don't think you do. We don't do milk, milk bags here anyway. Oh, do you not? I thought you did. No, Is it's like a—it's more of an East Coast thing. Uh, on the west coast, yeah. they do, we do cartons like sane individuals. <laughs> do they do? Uh, That's the one thing. Paper bag milk now? No, they do not. Do that would be the worst milk. fucking thing. Ever. That's the I one thing it. I will I will argue with other Canadians about is like when they try to explain, they're like, "Bag milk is better because all you have to do is buy a plastic pitcher and then a pair of scissors, and then you just pull the bags out of the slightly <laughs> larger bag, cut a hole in the corner, and put them in the carton." No! Damn it! Why did you swing, Josh? You stupid man. <laughs> 
Can't you make a gelatin-based straw that wouldn't do any of those things you just described? No, that doesn't make any sense. Better? Could could I do it? Absolutely. Yeah, not. Like, straw work. Imagine a Twizzler. You can yeah. use those as straws and then eat them. Mm, that, that sounds that Here's sounds fantastic. I'll drink my Twizzlers cold brew. Jello. I'll drink my cold brew coffee through a piece of red licorice. That sounds delicious. I, I was using an example. It doesn't have to be licorice flavored. <laughs> I think I was I'm just gonna you the texture. Well, I'm being real with you. Like I. Now, if you live in this city, and I, I still do support it, but I understand why people think it's ridiculous. You have to have, like, a bag or a backpack, because you need to carry around a metal straw with you, unless you want to drink weird paper. And then you got to carry around, like, a, a water bottle that is, like, non-BEP, non-plastic, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, so you can refill from the water fountains, and you got, like, uh, you know, you got to carry around a lot of reusable stuff. Oh. It's the price you pay. I mean, all I'm saying is... Dolphins are probably, their noses are too big to fit in straws. I feel like they're pretty good, you know? <laughs> It'll be all right. I don't know. Chad's freaking me out. They're going, why don't you just drink your drink without a straw? I'm not talking about going to a diner and getting <laughs> like a, oh, can I have a large fountain soda and put six straws in it? I'm just saying, like, you know, you go to like a Starbucks, oh. you get an iced coffee. They're putting a straw in it. Some drinks require straws. Yeah. Are there still plastic cups, like if you go to the movie theater? Or they styrofoam or something. Isn't that worse anyway? It's, um, well, they're like waxed paper at the movie theater, oh. I think. Because I was just thinking, like, the straws seem like not as big as all the plastic bags and shit. I'm not doing that. Ooh. All right. But I know you're mostly off the plastic bags. Yeah, we, like, our, we're, we're our, still doing it. Our plastic bag situation is mostly under control over here. Oh, I'm okay. just thinking about the island of trash in the ocean. Like, well, it's, we got a lot of issues. I don't know if the straws yeah, I don't like are the trash main island. One. I could Although, live on it. What if the, yeah. What if they made Ooh. Trash Island into like a like a water world type of situation, you know? That'd be pretty fun. Get Kevin Costner to go hang out over there. He'd you probably think he could live do. on it? Mel Gibson yeah, can, can go figure. too. Yeah, they could figure it out. That actually sounds really photos. cool. So we also How um, do they deliver mail to it? I okay, but I'm gonna cut that bit. <laughs> um so we can change I, out the picture. Here's the thing. I love Fair the environment. Yeah. Do you? Otters, clean water. Otters are awesome, actually. Oxygen, I love it all. But we went to a food truck festival on Saturday. And yeah. yeah, I got more bits related to that. But we went to throw out. Like, Kate and I had two cardboard boxes with a little bit of organic matter left in them, some paper right. napkins, Gross. and some plastic cups. They had yeah. five recycling bins and a consultant to basically figure <laughs> out, to <laughs> inform you where to throw. So we just walked up, and we're like, uh, cardboard box with a little macaroni in it. And she's like, scrape the macaroni into the green bin and then put the cardboard into the black bin. And we're like, okay, That cool. sounds like you're singing a song. Nice cash. Thank you, thank you. I, think you, uh, I think you guys should just consider being more green, you know, just like pile it up, burn it up, you know, get a nice <laughs> Smell going. Nice Call it clean purpose. trash. Yeah. It's like, man, it's just, it's so complicated to recycle properly these days. Like, <laughs> in our apartments. Place that like, everyone's cool is just like dumping their trash. In our, <laughs> in our apartment's garbage room, there's like, we have blue bins, green bins, black bins, and <laughs> then like. Blue bins again? Blue bins. Blue bins? And then blue like, blue we have like I a like paper. We have blue like bins. a paper bin. I'm blue as well. Free. All right, you know what? I'm going to say this for an Isaac episode. It's clear you guys are not going to let me construct a bit and build something out of it, and that's okay. If you'd like to just repeat blue bins over and over, that's fine. That's Twitch culture. Can you culture. tell me about the blue bins? Blue bin. I want to play a Mario water level where you, when you swim, it goes blue bin, blue bin, blue bin, every time you swim. I promise you that if you wait 10 seconds, there is a punchline. There's a punchline that will make you laugh more than Bluebins. Sonic is underwater. Dun 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 Bluebin. When when the streamers say Bluebin, it's making me laugh. Bluebin comes, Bluebin goes. Me like Bluebin. Anyway, as if the NLSS is high tier humor. So the, the thing picture is, of Drake where he's going blue bins, nah, blue bins, yeah. <laughs> so like the way that the <laughs> like that one uh, humor. Uh, so how do you spell blue bins? Is it O O or U? I like the. It's no long. I'm no longer in possession of the bit, so you choose how the fuck you want to spell it. I like B L O O B I N S. How many O's? Three. 
Oh, oh. This, this shit's two. going yard. Who's, pi- who's pitching? Three O's getting... would be blue. <laughs> That's going yard. Which send me one, send me one right down the fucking plate. That's the one right Loopin. there. Loopin. So the blue bins. Yeah. <laughs> the blue bins say aluminum cans. The black bin says tin cans. Right, Every right. time I go into the garbage room, I have a fucking crisis of faith looking at every single can going which one of these is tin and which one of these is fucking aluminum hear me out though is, is that it that's it? what you wanted to get by <laughs> well, I, I didn't think they had made tin cans since like the 1920s i thought it was like world war one parlance and now they're all aluminum that's all right, all right. you don't have to <laughs> throw it if you don't want to <laughs> who <laughs> who is responsible there you that, absolutely you yeah I hit the button, nothing happened. Are you throwing you the didn't. ball to the batter right now? No, you're correct, but I just hit the button and nothing happened, so I don't know what went wrong there. Did I disconnect my controller? I got shot <laughs> up! Oh. <laughs> I think I'm uh, fine. How do you bunt? Uh, B. Yeah, but, B so is... anyway, hear me out, though. Like, Blubins. how how is anybody... Yeah, Bluebins. <laughs> uh, Bluebins. No, but how how is anyone gonna know whether you you put the tin can in the aluminum bin? Well, or, it's or just. Whatever? I mean, at that point, you might as well like it's almost just throw. It. Well, it's like it's not about somebody arresting you. It's about you recycle because you want to do good things for the environment. But if you yeah. put the wrong thing in the wrong box, it's almost like you might as well just throw it in the trash can. Penn and Teller yeah. said that recycling is actually a waste of time and energy because it all the energy that goes into moving the recyclables recyclables about waste more in emissions than it would save by recycling it. This is like uh this is like a Godwin Godwin's law kind of thing, right? <laughs> That's the it. Hitler law, right? No, I'm thinking of the other one. What's that law where you say the wrong thing and then you get the right answer? They were wrong <laughs> and they apologized? <laughs> oh. I don't know. <laughs> What's the name of that law? Moore's law? Moore's no, law. it's not oh, yes. Moore's law. That's uh, There you go. That's the one about the transistors. All right, Keep I got it. The second law of You didn't want to keep going? You didn't want to... You didn't want to... St- oh Alright, I'm just going to make sure that you strike out. Because I'm a little bit unconfident in the fielding right now. Uh, I think my window is unfocused. Uh, sorry. Bluebin's law? You okay? I was yeah, hitting buttons and nothing was happening and that's probably that's correct. Why. It's Bluebin's law. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. Yeah. There's a bullshit of bullshit episode on. <laughs> That's wild. All right, I'll look out for that then. We got Bluebin. Oh, he's back, baby. <laughs> I really didn't think that he was going to throw it. Look at that. So. <laughs> I hope you understand why I did that. Yeah, dude, that was, that was a mind game. That was incredible. I don't care if we lose 69 to 0, Josh. Don't worry. Yeah, we'll be back to play some hold fast in three minutes. See you soon. Yeah, but we are all on like the level 69, so we all win in the end. Mm, that's Fair true. Point, yeah. You Actually, know, when I completed my yeah. bounty, I only got 68% uh, participation. Ah, oh, rip. I would have loved to have had, you know, 32% more, but one also would have been nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that would have been good, too. I don't get it. It's because it would be the number 69. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a sex number. That's actually the weed number. Oh, you're right. I was thinking of 420. Hold fast. Yeah, I'll change game. The H and okay. hold fast in the logo reminds me of history channels. Is this the history channel hold fast? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> they always yeah. do that meme that's like, sex is great, but yeah. have you done X? Why don't we just stop at sex is great? That's the end. Because then, mm, because that's it is not a very funny to... meme. It, well, that and it, it, you know, it leaves you your your world sheltered and alone, like Ryan. I hate that guy. You hate me? Oh, shit. I mean... (laughs) What do you mean? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, that's fair. I can understand why, even if I disagree with you. Oh, shit. Your chat got me. I was just bragging about how I've had sex. (laughs) That's all that I was... I was trying to draw attention to myself and how I've done that. Slash R, I have sex. Oh, shit. Thanks, chat. Change your game on Twitch, everybody. Yeah, you gotta change yeah, it to hold yeah. fast. I did it. I did it. Twitch you did it? something after me. 
I'm so, I'm always so impressed that you guys do that every single time. I thought you were gonna say I've been so impressed that you've had sex. You guys yeah. ever have sex before? You guys mm. like it? I have to talk about it. The yeah. responsibilities of this job are basically zero. Yeah. Yeah, but like most of the time you guys can't do that. So No, that's not true. I'm just saying. Sometimes I do it and then Twitch doesn't update. And then for the next two hours nobody talks about what we're talking about. They just go change game name. Yeah. Music's fucking the teacher happy. made a mistake. Shit, the mm. Twitch police are here. <laughs> Sorry, right. I like the Twitch police. You guys can hang out. Mm -hmm. So the I was Twitch watching uh, they Justin. They live inside of my head. Justin's, the Twitch police. Justin was streaming uh, Ghost no Recon Sky. Wildlands uh, bounty, right? Uh -huh. And yep. then uh, he was listening to the radio in the game. And the I don't want to put on the accent that the guy uses, but, you know. Why? It's a very, it's basically a Carlos Mencia. But he uh, <laughs> he said, if you don't want to get pregnant, make sure you're not near your mans, because this next track is a real thigh opener. And <laughs> <laughs> the look that crossed his face and it was just like pure disgust. And then he <laughs> mentioned that he was disgusted by what he had just yeah. uh, witnessed. Right, yeah. Like, Man, yeah. that... Some of the voice acting in that game, or the writing, I guess I should say, is just <laughs> gross. I, I feel like a lot of like open world games these days tend to just be falling over each other at like who can be as wild and kooky yeah. as they could be, you know? Like, with, hey, we've got a villain and he's crazy. <laughs> he's got some wild ideas. I don't even understand how that contextually fits in that game. He's a th know. he's a real thigh opener. <laughs> it's like a military game about serious, serious men with serious guns. It's a game, for sure. That's yeah. what I'll say yeah. about that. Um, you guys want to join on me, if you can? Uh, Yeah, I'll try to do that. You guys know that all of your inventories are private, and I can't see them? Do you know that if you spend less time looking at our inventories and more time trying to join the lobby, we could probably get hey, maybe if you just shut the five fuck up. minutes of gameplay? Yeah, yeah. I was literally waiting for all of your butts to do the thing, and I, I as soon as you said you join on me, I joined on you, but I had to finish the words that fucking blue bin me over here. <laughs> you getting blue binned? Uh, you never want to be blue bin, dude. Yeah. Oh, I'm blue bin, dude. We got to be Prussia this time. It's not this is my hell yeah! They added Prussia to the game. King of Prussia. Do they change yep. uh, <laughs> the way that it's played? <laughs> or is this, no. Well, instead of a flute, you have a fife. <laughs> no, you oh. just get to shout in German now. Oh, dude! Yeah. Let me I tell you know. what. Hand Simulator had a big update. They added a ton of new game modes. There's yeah. a Viking mode and a Battle Royale mode. Wait, I want to get in on that. I'm kind of all right for that. Yeah. I want to do two hours of it. Do no. It. No, do never. Right yeah, no. if I never played the game again, that would be fine. Yeah. I, I still never actually played it, because if you remember that first I'll time. I'll play with you, Rob. I'm down. The the first time the first time we okay. played it, like I uh I my internet died and then I then mm. I never got to play. I mean it's extremely not good. You mean fantastic? Yeah, it's like Bad. Um, it might be good now. You don't know. Does this game look better to anybody else? I think it looks like, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I think they I'm still loading in. There's also six people yeah. <laughs> in a 150 player server. So well, we didn't we didn't tell people which server we were going. Yeah, yeah. Right? It's uh, game. it's North America, one, one. I think NA one Battlefield. Oh, you can see it top right. left. Oh, That's Cock right. USA it. one. Corey threatened to invade Canada last night. Oh, he dude. lives in Canada. Yeah, yeah that's but he's easy. like, he's like, if climate change happens, like the U.S. is going to come and butt fuck you. And I said, I will personally kick you he into the Pacific him. Ocean and laugh about it. I said, get ready, it's going to be Vietnam too, motherfucker. Gross. <laughs> yeah, in the wild jungles of Canada. Then I resubscribe to him. <laughs> they have okay. really big timbery forests. You've ever played out. The Long Dark? Kind of click. Oh no, it's. I also told him he shouldn't say that before he takes his citizenship tests. <laughs> Cuz if they if that uh 
you know, came Did out they in the interview. Shit for that? I think they might be like, you know, it kind of puts you second on the list instead of first. He has to learn French, right? You, uh, you do not need to learn French in order to become a Canadian oh. citizen. Doesn't he need to speak it fluently and then, like, hail the queen? No, absolutely not. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't even think you need to speak English fluently to be a Canadian citizen. Wow, that's racist. And it's not racist. <laughs> Excuse me. What are you trying to say about Canadian citizens? I'm just, I don't think there's, I think like, a... None of them speak any English. I don't think there's an English fluency test. I think there's probably a proficiency test, but, uh... I mean, I don't think you need to pass, like, the, you know, get an 800 on your SATs or something. 800's pretty good. I wouldn't know, actually. We don't take the SATs up here very I often. I didn't either. I took the ACTs. Took the ACTs. Yeah. yeah. Did you get a 4? Uh, Isn't no, it out of 6 or something? That's not bad. <laughs> no, I, don't, I don't remember what it is. I thought it was graded similarly to the SATs, but slightly different somehow. The SATs weird. It's like at a, like eighteen hundred or something. Yeah. It's two categories that add up to a number, if I remember correctly. Dude, I had a LinkedIn request from somebody, and uh, they had their SAT score in their profile, and they were in their thirties. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, ah. Hey. They're in their thirties, dude. Uh, yeah. I'm an INTP, so I, keep <laughs> me. I was like, oh, I gotta hire this guy. Look at how good he did on his SATs. <laughs> I actually unironically like the Myers Briggs. Wait, oh, I heard shots coming from I over took here, it man. With Rob one night. Yeah. It took a long time, actually. It's a good time. We chatted about philosophy and psychology. Eh, it's a fun time. Doesn't mean anything. Oh, the other day you know? we chatted about politics for a long time. That was good. Yeah, we did. Mostly about economics, which is just like two. Yeah, we tried to get to the like... nature of capitalism. Yeah, yeah. So there's like two people who know nothing about economics talking about economics. Pretty it's much just time. described like all the conversations we have about anything serious on this show. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Hey, hey, no. Territory. Oh, you're you're on my team. Okay. Disregard. It's the skelet. Mm -hmm. Are there any enemies in this level, or is it we just have? Us? Oh yeah, there's definitely enemies. I see yeah, them. They, it they is like a twenty of times. to six though, or something. A lot of Prussians. A lot of Prussians. Uh, but I don't think Phoenicians were in this. Oh, city. no! What's the difference between Prussians and Russians? Prussians are Germany. 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 Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It's like North Germany. I thought it was like a Russian, but they forgot the line at the bottom of the R. Yeah, it's uh, just, well, like a long... Oh, my God, that guy's name is Bazinga with joy emojis. Um, <laughs> a long time ago, there was a big disagreement over how to spell it. It was called the Council of Berlin, and then the people who thought it was spelled Prussia went and formed Germany, and the people who thought it was spelled Russia went and formed Paka, or whatever the heck that it says on the Russian hockey oh, jerseys. Well, Paka. Yes, Alpaka, yeah. actually. <laughs> so it's... Dude, actually, the amount of times that I've rated people who are, like, you know, not, like, you know, acquaintances, and that they, they've said Alpaka... Mm. Has it's 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 a frighteningly high ratio to be honest with you. I mean, it just says my name wrong. I don't know why. It's not a common animal necessarily. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I'm, I'm not not uh, in North America I'm, at least. I'm faulting them really. It's just kind of funny. Alpaca. It's I, not honestly. You should uncommon. feel bad for them because, like, not knowing what an alpaca is, you're missing out. Yeah, that's true. It's They're patronizing, cool. isn't it? No, because they're nice, and you're missing out on a good time if you don't know what they are. Yeah, this is correct. I'm gonna start calling you Al Pacino Bagrel. Ooh, I'm I'm okay with that. Yeah. Can you you want a quick impression of uh, Bagrel of Al Pacino running out of toilet paper? Yeah. Okay, it would be something like a. Pua! <laughs> Where did all the toilet paper go? What kind Something of like that. A was he as Tony Montana? That's that's just that's his new role. Oh, okay. He's right, run right, out right. of toilet paper. Kind of like Pua, actually. Mainly. Pua. Now it's like Hua, but it's Pua because he's pooping. Hua. There you go. Oh, I found Mr. Wolfenstein. Oh, what's he up to? He's playing Wolfenstein. Oh, well, that makes sense. Yeah. Sorry, just another. If we can get 100 people to join the game really quick, yeah, that would I be mean, ideal. If you could all drop on an island <laughs> right afterwards. Rob, how was your weekend? Uh, it was good. I uh, we watched. Uh, Tell Robo... about the movie. 
Yeah, we watched Robo Vampire on, uh, on movie night. <laughs> it might okay. be one of the greatest movies I've ever seen. Mm. The best way to encapsulate how great it was is to consider that the movie plot was very much like this conundrum. Okay, we found out after having watched it, we just watched the sequel. Wait, we watched the first one, but it was released after the original. How does that? Wait, we watched the first we watched one. The... <laughs> Yeah, we watched the original. But it was released but after was one released it was released after itself. Are so it's a it's a prequel. prequel. It's a prequel. No, Why don't you just say you watched the prequel. It's very it's very confusing because of how it released in America. So like the sequel came out after the original. That's Nightland. extremely common. That's the most yeah. common way for that to happen. Yeah. Well, well no, I, did I say way. that wrong? Yeah, yeah I said it the normal way, didn't I? Yeah. I can see why I it seems know. confusing. Yeah. So yeah. far, well, but I'm still a little way, bit, I mean, I'm confused. Either way, like, you, you kind of get the uh, the idea. It's about a uh, vampire, that's all. I know, you lot. can't just leave us on that, <laughs> on that the, cliffhanger. The, the sequel came the sequel out a came year out before, before the original. Yeah. But it, it, in Brazil, they came out in the opposite order. I don't know, maybe. It was in, uh, it was a, it's a Chinese movie. I thought it was Brazil. Yeah, sounds Brazilian. What, where did you guys yeah, get Brazil. Brazil from, to be honest? South I, America. I have no idea. Well, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's where it's at. Yeah, that's true. You didn't know that? You'd think a guy whose name was like Alpaca Patrol would know where Brazil is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, there we go. It's a fair point. You see that? That was a funny that I made. I liked it, dude. Josh, how was your weekend? I'm losing steam here. Uh, yeah, that, I'm no pressure. You better fucking dazzle me because I'm hitting dazzle. the snooze button. This better um, be... Uh, it better be one to hell of a weekend. <laughs> he saw fireworks, which was pretty cool. He went to a baseball game, got licked by his cat. Yeah. You saw fireworks? Yeah, it was that it was fireworks night at the uh, Pirates Apollo? game. Can you do that? Uh, you can have you can have fireworks night in July, but not on July fourth. Yeah, you, there's fireworks night like a lot. Um, what was that? You asked me about my weekend. So Friday, it was cool. We watched. Uh, I went over to my buddy's house. And we watched the new Hulu series based off of Stephen King stuff. Oh, Castle Rock. Castle oh. Rock. Yeah. So you watched was the first three episodes. Yeah. You know what? I I liked it a lot. Um, I wish I had Hulu to continue watching it, but uh, I don't. So right. I'll probably never watch an episode of it ever again. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah. So, but it was it was a good show. I recommend it. Um, okay. Saturday was not a whole lot of much. Um, not a whole lot of much. And then, and then we did like so. Like in the morning, there wasn't a whole lot. But then that's the night that we went to the Pirates game. Mm. So we went down to the park to tailgate oh, around like PNC three. Park. PNC Park went down down to the pack around three o'clock. Uh, the game started at like seven. Did they um, steal any of your booty? We won. Uh, so the Pirates are actually on like a crazy. Oh, you're on the team. Uh, winning. <laughs> yeah, streak. no, I didn't know you were part of the organization. Uh, <laughs> so like we didn't really. We had a we had a good start to the season, and then we kind of started sucking, which is you know what we do as a as Pirates. Um, and then we we've been winning a lot these past two weeks, so that's good. Mm, we, so, you like, it's like five nothing, Josh, five yeah. nothing. Uh, and then yesterday, not a whole lot of much. I made some good food for breakfast. Um, mm. and then just kind of hung out, played some video games, played a bunch of Persona 3 on my Vita. Mm. Yeah. Uh, wow, you're way behind. That's golden, I hope. Yeah. Well, I, I beat Persona 4 golden on the Vita. The sequel that like, came out before the original. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah, that's and so I wanted to did. play some more Persona, so I picked up 3, and 3's been pretty good to me so far. Hmm. I, uh, you know, the, the cooking reminded me. I made a, an Italian meat sauce last night. Yeah? It was delicious, yeah. It sounds it's good. Like a lazy meat sauce too. Was, uh, what what's that mean? Like you, like I just didn't ground like some meat and just poured it over fell ragu? asleep with the stove on. I, like I just I didn't <laughs> feel like chopping anything, so there's no like onions or anything mm. in it. I just you I know just, what like, a better mm. version of this game is? Uh, what? Battlefield 1942. Mm. But it's mm, two different two different time periods, Josh. Completely Battlefield 1942. Yeah, yeah, but like the... now I'm thinking, like man, this kind of reminds me of like Battlefield, but like this is a little bit worse. <laughs> well, you don't like running uh, 90 <laughs> seconds to right, get back right, to the battlefield? Everyone put away your fucking guns. We're just going to we're gonna fist this. Okay. Slappers yeah. only. 
Yeah, slap we slap all. That's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do. There's, there's like there was a button to throw like some haymakers, right? What was that? Oh yeah, I think you just hold it. You just hold it. Uh, you might have to right click and change forms. Oh I'm yeah, this guy's got it. I'm just gonna walk towards you with my arms out, and if you get hit, it's your problem. All right, all right. So we're we're. I think we gotta put your sword away, bronze boner. All right. Oh, I got a, I got a, like a like a, a guy. We got a good fight a, club over here. Yeah. The combat That's system the is so nuanced. Yeah, I don't. It's really all right, all right. Good. One at a time, you nerds. <laughs> All right, we gotta we gotta circle up. That's what we gotta do. We gotta circle up, and then you put two dudes in the middle, and then you fight. Oh, each other. get fucked, Sir Thornborg. Dude, this is basically the culling. Yeah, this is amazing. Like the one or two? <laughs> the, the the good one. <laughs> there isn't one. Mm, See, this is why we need to play Jedi both Academy. The calling, like, calling was actually just a bad game. I'm surprised that you guys liked it so much. Wow. Dude, they brought it back. Was, it was all right. Now they brought it back, it's okay. Yeah. No, it's I not like... I don't if they spent so. some time, like, making the combat system really good, then that game could be actually, like, a lot of I fun. think... I just hate crafting in mm. games. Yeah, I'm not It's just not fun. Oh, dude. I got the high ground. Um, I how much... the high ground. How much are pirates tickets, Josh? How much you pay for those tickets? You don't mind me. You asking. know what? I don't know. Sounds I think like Chris a lot. Them up. Uh, well, we go as like a group, so it's like uh, a bunch of folks that like we're all friends with, but that went to college with Kristen, and so I think they buy like in bulk um, oh. for like the group rate, and then mm. we pitch in whatever we owe. But I think Kristen kind of held down the fort for that, so I didn't pay nothing. Oh, that's nice. So they were free. Yeah. Well, for me, they were free, but for Kristen, they were. She like paid for two tickets. I'm just, I'm surprised. It seems very complicated. What seems complicated? I mean, I was expecting, oh, I was expecting you to say like fifteen dollars. No, they're more than that. Instead, I got a whole it's story. Be more than that, well, I dude. Yeah, like, I don't I know how. Like, probably like forty-five is probably forty-five bucks for pirates tickets. Yeah, it depends all, on where you're sitting. I there's suppose, eighty-one really. home games a season. Yeah. yeah. You ever look at a baseball game in June? Like, if the team's not at the top of the division, it's like ninety percent empty. Yeah, but like the top players in baseball are paid like a hundred. Yeah, of dollars, course. But so. like, I'm just saying, it's uh, how can you justify right, a forty-five right, dollar price there? It seems crazy. Go, somebody chat. Go look it up. This does it. Where'd you sit? Were you in the nosebleeds or the non-nosebleeds? What's really nice about going to a ballpark is that uh, you like you buy your seat assignment, right? Yeah, yeah. But typically, no one ever checks, and you're just like free to walk around the entire stadium. Right. Yeah. So, like if you wanted to like walk right up to like the bullpen, you're good to do that, honestly. Yeah, you're right. You can steal. Yeah, <laughs> it's not stealing. I mean, it's kind of stealing. No, you're, you're, the, you're the ticket gives you like free reign over the whole ballpark. You can walk around. I you don't want. think that's what it says. It so does. I, yeah. So there is there, you can't go stand. into the, you can't go There's into some like great... the, the owner's box or anything, but you can walk around wherever the fuck you want. <laughs> There's some great tickets that I've yet to get for Pirates games, but it's like the fucking buffet area. Yeah. So you just get like all like the you, it's like 50 bucks probably. Maybe a little bit more, I don't know, but you get like all you can eat, like hot dogs, burgers, like nachos, sandwiches, and shit. I want that. I want that in my life. They but have that uh, at Canucks games as well, but it's like mm -hmm. an extra one hundred dollars added onto your ticket, and you still have to pay for drinks. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I don't really want to give myself the opportunity to eat a hundred dollars worth of hot dogs because I'm gonna do it. <laughs> yeah, I, I would do that. dude. I would love it. That sounds amazing. How many hot dogs do you, you think you could eat over, over the whole a... rink? How many hot? All right, all right. Wait, what was the question? How many <laughs> hot dogs do you think you could eat over a nine-inning game? I could probably eat four. You know what? Give me, give me <laughs> eight hot dogs. I'll you eat think eight you could eat dogs. one? Eight? One. I can eat a hot dog per inning. inning. But like, give me a little bit break. Give me like the seventh inning stretch to. to you, you could do more break. than eight, dude. I could, I could probably rock like a tenner. Yeah. Over the court, I mean, it's like a baseball game as well, like two and a half, three hours long, right? Yeah. I feel like I, I was thinking like six hot dogs. Yeah. I don't know. Like I'd give it my all, but like you know, maybe I'll maybe I'm sandbagging a little bit. Maybe I probably could. Yeah. Who, I, well, I mean, it depends. Like, are we topping it? Or is there is there toppings on top of these hot dogs? Yeah, I'm not gonna fucking 
go in dry on a hot dog. Yeah, it would be pretty boring to go in dry. Yeah. You never yeah, like that. I guess some mustard and relish at the very least. Yeah, mustard, relish, th throw in some ketchup and, and you gotta you gotta stew. Yep. A hot yep, dog yep, stew. They do those crazy Chicago dogs. Get the, like, I don't no because they, they put like a raw up. tomato on that garbage. Mm. That's disgusting. It's wild. Dude, I don't like it. any foods named after a place, honestly. Mm. What about New York style pizza? Uh, um, I think I would just describe that as pizza personally. You do have to. Okay, walk what about a Chicago lot style pizza? That's deep dish pizza. What right. about deep yeah. dish pizza? Uh, never had it honestly. What about? No. Hey, there, there are people in here. They got, what about they got, they got sabers sandwich. and they got the. I may not. have eroded the enemy's confidence that we were doing fistfights by running ten of them through in a row with my bayonet. <laughs> yeah, no, that would do that. But, I like, think, look yeah. at my score. I oh. killed Sir <laughs> Thornboard. Was that you? No, it, uh, my name is Isaac Baby. Gosh, I, I got up on that once. You're Isaac mm. Baby? Did I they... got up on that grain thing. What have level you are you? I mean, what... What number? Like, where I'm are you? I'm level at? thirty now. Oh, sorry. I'm are you a Prussian I'm, or are you a French? I'm Prussian, and my name is Louis Montcalm. <laughs> oh, how would I? You said you're Isaac Baker. Yeah, how I forgot I had a separate name in this one. Do I have a separate name? What's my name? I'm you're J Smith OTI. OTI. You're four and seven. All right. Tell everybody See this guy? in Ryan? in your in your chat. So like, so you have to say audibly. Everyone, circle up. Everyone, and, circle up. There you go. Now two people enter. Two people the, enter. And that's how we're gonna play it. And that's how we're gonna play it. Thank you. Nice. <laughs> the, um, Where's the circle? I don't yes. know. You gotta find the house. Gotta make the circle. You got yeah. Everyone just get into a circle. All right. Does ever have a uh, one of them Italian beef sandwiches? Mm, I don't think so. It's like a Chicago thing. Sounds, there's a, <laughs> sounds there's like a kids from European. famous Italian meat like subs sub shop near me yeah but yeah, like, i ordered it one time for delivery and like when it got to me it was just like a soggy hunk of a mess and i was like i'm yeah, never gonna yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. ordering sandwiches is always a bad idea yeah and it's yeah. just something i never want delivered yeah i want but, a sandwich well, what about close... like an italian hoagie you can get an italian hoagie i don't want it delivered. if you get at all if you get like, what if you get non-sauced sandwiches you can probably get away with it but yes. it's still gonna be worse like it's yeah. not all right, I like I like these folks here. See, they got it going on. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's kind right, of so like so like yeah. All right, this guy, this green man who's in the middle, randomness eight eight eight. You're in the middle versus anyone else that is not on our team. How do I do this tilt that these guys have? This is a fucking nightmare. What tilt? Oh. What are you talking about? Oh yeah, how are I they doing it. that? You son okay, of a Okay, you get your fist in. behind your head and then you lean all the way back. Yeah. <laughs> That that's gonna be the outer circle. So <laughs> whoever's not fighting is doing that. I yeah, but then you can't you. see anything. I think. Well, yeah, you, you don't have to lean back. You just gotta do the motion. Oh, this is pretty weird. You yeah. do have to lean back. Why? You guys stupid. notice this guy over here, Mr. Wolfenstein? He's got like a life preserver on him. I think yeah. this might be I mean, horrible. You gotta I mean, beat the <laughs> fuck out of him. I mean, he's on my team. So, yeah. <laughs> I kind of want to fight this guy with the torch. Punch him, dude. I love All the right. discordant flutes too. <laughs> do, 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 oh, do, you do, shot do, do, do. me! That <laughs> son of a bitch! <laughs> that was pretty good. <laughs> oh man! I had um, buffalo chicken pizza last night. Mm. Ooh, how was that? It was really good. So like, there's a place. Josh, come back. come back. Right. Where you at? Can't miss me. I, I can't because I don't remember. Oh, you're Louis Montcalm. Yeah, I can miss you. <laughs> um, so there's a place in Pittsburgh. Uh, it's called Pizza Fiesta. Shout outs to them <laughs> if they ever want to sponsor me. But yeah, like, it's, it's not a good name, but they've got some pretty good pizza. Well, actually, the best pizza that they have is the buffalo chicken pizza. Like, it's it's really good. Got a good spice. They give you a really nice ranch that goes along with it. And like, Ooh. my favorite part is they do like fucking. Fried sliced potatoes. They're not like French fries with the like 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 a like a chip like a, like a circle, but like thick, like thick. Like, uh. It's like it wants to be a French fry, but it's a gosh darn circle. Okay. And That's they yeah, and they spice it up so it's like it's got like a similar taste to like an Arby's curly fry. Mm. Mm. It's 
delicious. Good game. Good, good game. Good game. I gotta yeah. say, I, I am not a fan of Arby's at all. Like, Whoa. I, I love a curly. Have the uh, meat. I'm not a. I'm not a big. What about the curly guys. fries? I love a curly. I like curly fries in general. I like I a more Larry. The the only I've only had Arby's a couple of times, and they were not positive experiences. Those Dude, times. I I, I love Arby's. Well, here's yeah, the thing, like, though. Don't you, whenever you see an Arby's, is it not in some kind of big box outlet with other fast food restaurants? It does tend no. to be, yeah, actually. Here the one by me isn't, actually. It's independent. So yeah. it's by itself. Like you, yeah, you would drive. You would be like, yeah. hey, let's go get something to eat. You would drive to the Arby's and have no other choice. That's yes. right. Depending, yeah, like there's definitely an Arby's near me that's like that. The, the other Arby's that's near me is across the street from a Wendy's, but that's it. I can't join round. I feel like I would choose the Wendy's every time. Yeah, I no, choose no the way. Well, so like, what if you want roast so beef, you're not getting so like out of Arby's. I've so never like, wanted roast they've beef. They've got like a, <laughs> like they got like their market fresh sandwiches. So yeah, like, yeah. it's to me, it's very, it's not like the fried stuff. So like, they you get like a nice turkey sandwich. They've got like really nice good bread, mm. uh, and you got like the bacon on there, and you got the lettuce. It's it's a really good sandwich. Uh. And you, I mean, you get, the, and you get nice, the curly yeah. fries, you throw the curly fries on that scooby and ooh. How do you guys feel about a uh, Boston Market? Actually? We don't have it here. Really? Yeah. You've got don't you have something similar? Swish LA is kind of similar. That's it. Yeah. Right, 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 right. Swish LA is not well respected though. Boston I, I Market saw... is fine. I barely get it, but it is good. So I saw an ad for Swiss Chalet because I was watching a little bit of the CFL the other night. <laughs> really? Oh and, my god. Yeah. You are desperate. <laughs> Do you yeah. watch the CFL? You're Dude, wow. it's it's getting close to football season. You're not even like, Canadian. Oh, it's peak off season, dude. It's 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 getting <laughs> rough here, man. It's like when rough, somebody but... from around here watches the CFL, I'm like, yeah, that's hard, but I get it. <laughs> For an American to watch the CFL is that's just sad. It's rough, man. Yeah, but but anyway, so so the Swiss Chalet has like a special that they're they're making fried chicken now, and mm. is that is. Is that to mean that they don't normally make it? Normally, they're a rotisserie chicken sort of place. Oh, mm -hmm. I see. Okay. It's basically just like the deli section from a Costco. Yeah, but they were like with a hundred yeah. tables. Because <laughs> well, they were like, excuse me, uh, I'm so hungry. I'm such a hungry boy right now. Yeah. Oh, I found it. It's Q. Q. That's the one. Yeah. Yeah. I have a drum roll going. I dig, I like, I, I enjoy Boston Market, though. Why? <laughs> well, yeah, it's, like not it. it's nice rotisserie chicken. They have potatoes and, and yeah. mac and cheese. I like those things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, Boston Market's good. Like, what's wrong with rotisserie chicken? You guys ever have it in Nando's? No, I never I, had a no. cheeky Nando's. Nando's is pretty good. I think I've mostly made in Europe. Yeah. I don't remember. There's one here. Two here, maybe? Yeah. I, you know, I there was. I've been to a Nando's. I mean, you lived in uh, the United Kingdom for a while. Yeah, so, that's what. Like, the, be, I think the begrudging I've been to part one. of it. Yeah, I've dude, Scotland was amazing. I can't wait to go back. Yeah. yeah. So what, what is there to do in Scotland? Oh, Get go to wasted. go to see a Jesus and Mary Chain concert and then visit their famous yard. Oh, this yeah. is where they make all that famous tape. <laughs> this is, <laughs> well, they, this is yeah, where all those they... delicious mints come from. Okay, now I'm done. <laughs> all right. I'll go back to Scotland just for the haggis. It's so good. Ugh. Haggis is actually great. More like I, I try it, but like I don't know, man. Here's what you do: you go to Edinburgh, you go to fucking, you go to the Edinburgh Castle, and uh -huh. near the castle there's a place that's called the Castle Arms. You get the haggis, neeps, and tatties, and oh. you're, in, <laughs> you're in hog heaven, dude. dude this is gonna sound like I'm tatties? being patronizing. I had some neeps and tatties when I was home. Did you? I thought it was just tatties because it was dark. And then when they turned on the lights, I was like, there's some meats in there. <laughs> and here's the thing. I thought I didn't like meeps. But then yeah, I, when I, I ate them in the dark, and when they turned yeah. on the lights, it, it, it turned out I've like been eating. You, gotta, been... you, know, you gotta get them in there with your grinder teeth, you know, just like really mm. chew on them, and then you get the nice flavor out of it. I think it's a reference to nipples, but... Yeah, I mean, I'm right. just trying to wholesomely explain that I I've surprisingly enjoy turnips. Yeah. <laughs> I uh, I think my nation's at war is is dead. <laughs> really? Oh. 
I mean, yeah. we're having a pretty good battle it's, right here. Hey, I'm, I'm, continue battling. Yeah. But, you but my, my computer is actually battling the game right now. Where are you the, at? Uh, if, I, if I can find you, I'll, I'll bring you back to life with a song. So I need, I need an, I need a, a, an answer from Carolinians in chat. Okay. Apparently, I used to Carolinians. Be a Carolinian. Oh well, then you could actually enlighten me too. So apparently there is a uh, fast food chain known as Bojangles. Oh, it's oh, the yeah, best fried Bo chicken in America. Apparently yeah. people say it's like the greatest fried chicken ever. No, I actually, I, I don't like Bojangles. I don't like Bojangles. Really? Yeah. yeah. You just go there and you can try it. That answers that then. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Like it's maybe I maybe I went to the wrong Bojangles. You only uh, go to one Bojangles? I think I only right. went to one my because like I was just like I don't like this. It's not good. Nick. So I never went back. You want to play uh, Revolutionary War Chicken? See, Cookout, okay. Cookout was, was pretty good. You I and I walk I'd go there. in lockstep towards the enemies and never release the W key. Oh, I like that. You're right. I'm standing over here. I got my, I've got my bandolier uh, on. I'm looking. Did someone in your chat say? Bojangles messed up my order metaphorically last okay. 4th of July. It's me, it's me, I'm behind you. Let's get it in lockstep. Three. I went to... I'm right here, right, right here. I went to Jack in the Box. Jack in the Box is Turn, good. This is me, Are right? I'm, 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 playing, I'm playing a flute. I'm that's right, pretty cool, dude. Right behind you, know? you. I think my game... Oh, you're is Louis? Just... I'm Louis Montcalm, that's correct. Oh, that's why I didn't understand. All right, all right. All right. All right. Let's get in lockstep. Please. Someone let me in. <laughs> okay, you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. What are we? Are we walking? We're walking. Just walking. It's war, bitch. <laughs> this is, oh, we lost the. Are, are you gonna call? Are you gonna call the fire? Or <laughs> I don't. I'm the fifer, not the fire. <laughs> we just. No matter what happens, we keep walk walking. Well. We keep walking. Cockigs keep stepping in front of me and stopping me. Give Stop me that. Angles. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Don't shoot. You can't shoot the musician. It's against the Geneva Convention, which hasn't been written yet. Oh, what if then the soldiers just crouched behind them? Oh, dude, that's a genius strategy. It's like the Spartan strategy. Go. Yeah, no one wants to shoot the drummer. <laughs> I like that a lot. <laughs> Can we make a drummer phalanx? Don't kill the mayor. He's fine. Oh, okay. Well, never mind. Send this to the mayor. <laughs> Send us to the man. He killed three of us in a single shot. This game wow. is not. You have a railgun? <laughs> <laughs> I've I've turned the corner on hold fast. <laughs> have you tried shooting cannons yet? Quarter, honestly. I mean, I, there was a time where I was like, it's all right. <laughs> I didn't really like it the first time. But yeah, kind of pressions, you know? It's a little, it's a little think... mindless, you know. Yeah. It's just you compared it to Goldeneye, and I was like, I don't know. Yeah, I would like, rather play Goldeneye. Goldeneye is a little bit more action-packed. I'll it's, tell you, we got to play a double-action Boogaloo on here. So Can you pick a game well. that's come out in the last 20 years? I, okay, if you check the NLSS links, I'm the only fucking motherfucker. I actually, a bunch of <laughs> I clicked on that for the first time. Not links, but uh, game ideas. And game I, ideas. I, I realized I there played were, that with you many times. There were three yeah. weeks of messages I have never seen in there. Yeah, yeah, I know. I, just put, I put a bunch of different yeah. games in there that I look for. Oh, look, I think this would be fun to play with my friends on that show I that did I like being on. just say, though, two he weeks. Told me to delete that room. Two weeks ago, <laughs> I was like, we have too many Discord sub rooms in the, in the thing. And then Nick was like, no, we don't. And now all of a sudden, oh. there's one I haven't seen messages in for 21 days. <laughs> I just wanted there to not be scrolling in that one because for links you want to like have access to them. So I thought a room would be the only solution. Mm. No, I mean I agree with that. You want me to delete it, Rob? No. I haven't read all the messages yet. I gotta make time in my. I gotta carve out an hour. <laughs> I gave you a bunch of is Sky Noons in there. What Sky Noons? Send them Sky to your Noons. assistant and pass them on. Yeah, exactly. I'll have him vet them. It's like hey, a first hey. person. Oh yeah, my player. god. Did you see that? He picked the dude up on his flagpole. Like his corpse was on the flag. Wow. That seems sacrilegious. How so? Oh, I got a headache. Uh, you don't want to disparage your flag with 
a corpse. I forgot that you guys think the flag is uh yeah, it's a sacred holy document over there. It's very sacred. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot. Right. Yeah, Wait, you're not forgot. supposed to put it on underwear or, or just a, or you know, pants. like a, a button up denim shirt or something. Is that the Canadian flag? Mm, no, a it's a maple up leaf. denim shirt. <laughs> Did you guys ever hear the story of the, why it's called a Canadian tuxedo? Spoilers, it's your fucking fault, as usual. <laughs> it's like an American dude at the Emmys. They wore all denim, and they were like, you know, why are you wearing that? And he's like, it's like called a Canadian tuxedo. And for the rest of our nation's existence, we've been mocked. I had no idea, actually, what the story That's was. Hilarious. I feel like I'm, it might have been Alan Thick though. So if it was Alan Thick, then I take it back, and it is our fault. Because he's ours. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, there were a lot of a lot of denim wearers in uh, 1980s Hong Kong. We learned actually. Yeah, almost uh, everyone that wore denim died back then. A lot of denim, strangely. I mean, de when I look at photos of like my parents before they had me, it, yeah. they're all denimed out. I'm not <laughs> saying they don't wear <laughs> denim in Canada. Like, they were they were denim to shit, extreme yeah, denim. Yeah. I really got that. practical awesome. fabric. It's useful. I got Is nothing it? against denim. I don't know, man. There was I one guy who wore, wore a. There was a guy who was wearing a, a denim vest. And I'd never hello. seen that before. Oh, hello, Josh. I feel, I feel like that's a bit excessive. I, I, I had a denim vest, vest when I was a child. Did you really? I did indeed. I had a child-sized denim vest. That's hilarious. Somebody at a at a factory made that. They were like, <laughs> "I'm gonna make a vest out of denim that a child should wear." <laughs> Oh, thanks for asking. My weekend was good, by the way. Oh, how was it? Uh, it was good. On nice. Friday, we didn't have round table. Ooh, are you gonna talk about it though? Because <laughs> I was hoping. <laughs> Don't do it. Get why the f kill the flute man? You could just <laughs> live with music around you. Um, we didn't have round table on Friday, as uh -huh. we won't for the next two weeks or so. So uh, I just had a productive Friday, and then on Saturday. I took the day off, and we ate some Whoa. brunch, and then we saw the new Mission Impossible film. Ooh. And then we went to the new Westminster Food Truck Festival. Oh, how yeah. was that? The f it, it, Which one specifically are you asking for? Uh, all of it. Brunch was decent. We had soup dumplings. They were not as good as the soup dumplings that we had at Joe Shanghai's, but they yeah. were okay. And Shanghai's good place. Mission Impossible Fallout was very good. I would definitely recommend seeing it. It's a high octane thrill ride, perhaps the best action movie I've seen since the John Wick films. And did then did you go back and watch Ghost Protocol before it? No, and in fact I have well actually I've seen Ghost Protocol, but the most recent one is Rogue Nation. Before oh, this okay, one, yeah. which I have actually not seen, but it did not hamper my enjoyment of Mission Impossible. Fallout, okay. which I would describe as a high octane action movie. Yeah. And then the food truck festival. There is, uh, there are many motorcycle scenes. Yes. Nice. A lady rides a motorcycle. I don't know if that's going to be a problem for you. Uh, I noticed most uh, of most of your bits revolve around oh, that's people of the male persuasion. Yeah, well, it is 2018, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah. know, anyway, like the food truck festival basically sucked. Yeah. Don't oh, don't. Really? Yeah. I mean, like... I, I hate food trucks. Dude, I'm kind of cool. with you, okay? I'm really? so over, like, how everyone was like, oh, yeah, food trucks were cool for, like, three months. And then they, everything just got more expensive, more stupid, and I, I can't stand it anymore. They caught on yeah. to it being so trendy, and they're like, let's exploit the shit out of it being trendy. Yeah, yeah. and it, it did end up being very expensive in a lot of food trucks, which is weird. To eat food out of a car. Why is yeah, that I mean, a big deal? I mean, car food. I don't, yeah. don't need it to be well, $15. So basically what it came oh, down to is, like, we got in line for this food, and the spoiler is that we never got served it because they ran out of chicken before we got to the front. Uh, are so, you fucking yeah, kidding me? We were lined up for 90 minutes, and halfway through, I was like, Kate, you should go get in a different line and get food that you can bring back to us in line so that we can at least eat oh, while we're... Oh, you can eat on the way to the food. Yeah, well, we can oh. eat while we're waiting <laughs> to eat. And then um, she went and she got two uh, macaroni and cheese orders, and then we ate it while we were in line for karage, and then the karage never showed up because we ran out, or they ran out wow. of chicken. And also, the mac and cheese was $13 an order. And then secondarily, oh, wow. I know. I mean, it had, like, pulled pork in it, but still, it's, like, a oh, pretty, pretty expensive. There's cans that are firing. And then secondarily, 
Ev, we, you know, we didn't. We went there with Corey, and then, um, you know, everybody wants to eat different food, so we all yeah. like kind of split up a little bit. We met up at the end of the festival. We saw us eating the mac and cheese. They're like, "How? How is it?" We're like, "Eh." And then we're like, "What'd you have?" And they were like, "Some schnitzel." And we were like, "How was it?" And they're like, "Eh." You know, mm-hmm. nobody was ha- instead of going to a restaurant where we could have been served in like half an hour and been inside yeah. and shielded from the sun. It was like we stood outside, didn't even get food, paid too much for it, and it wasn't as good as it would be if it was from a restaurant. Yeah, that blows. When they ask how it is, the answer is $13 is how it yeah. is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I uh, conversely, there's a thing. It's not food trucks, but uh, in Queens, they have this thing called the Night Market. Mm-hmm. Oh, the dude. Summertime. Yeah, they have that yeah. in uh, in Richmond here. Oh, yeah. See, also, see that? no, it still sucks. I don't know. Maybe it's we different in Queens, but like, it was I've, good. I've been yeah. to it here a couple of times and it's almost exactly the same thing. Like, you really? you can buy cheap counterfeit purses or you can stand in line for 45 minutes to get some half decent takoyaki. Nah, dude, at this place, spinners? they had what? They have any fidget spinners there? Probably two years <laughs> no. ago, is my guess. What, what they had is they had live music, a performance of a guy singing Linkin Park. Okay, that's um, it. You got me. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So that happened, and then and then they also had. You ever see those big plastic balls that they put old people in and they throw them down a hill? Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah. They had those too. That was pretty good. And one of those, uh, you know, those twisty potato things. Oh yeah, that's that's a staple yeah. of the night market here yeah. as well. Mm-hmm. They had no, those. I, wait, explain. You know the twisty potato. Don't. Basically, they, Don't. They, they... I'm just playing the flute. Oh, I thought you didn't want me to. Explain no, no, the no please. Potatoes. Ah, you yeah. fucker. <laughs> It basically, like, you, you cut a potato, like a whole potato, into, like, a spiral and stretch it out on a long skewer and yeah. then deep fry it. It's called oh, a hurricane potato or a rotato. Wait, wait, or wait. A... Yeah. Say this. It's it's a whole potato spiraled, but it's yeah, still yeah. one piece? Fried. Correct. It's still it's one piece, one yeah. Giant That's amazing. Imagine, it's, it's really it's, good. It's yeah. really, it's like one large potato chip. Can That's, they make yeah, the yeah. multiple potatoes? And wait, wait, a potato chip? It's, no, ba- no, it's no, more like a chip than a... It's more French fry texture, really, honestly, than anything else. I would, I would disagree with that. And maybe they cut them real thin where you're from. They were pretty thin here. Yeah. Dude, I think Kristen's making some some dinner, and I'm starving. What right are you gonna now. have? Tell what is the smell of potatoes? She's that's uh 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 spaghetti squash. Spaghetti spaghetti squash oh, with turkey nice, meatballs. Yeah. Kristen's okay. making oh, some okay. denim. Sounds like you're you're being healthy for some reason. What's that about? Uh, that's that's just living the adult life. Yeah, basically. Yeah, that sounds terrible. You honestly. know, eating spaghetti no, squash it's... with turkey meatballs and pre-gaming. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Yeah, dude, I'm telling you, you got like send somebody from Pittsburgh up to Vancouver and get her on the Korean lady train. I know I could have phrased that better. But like, Wait, the, the Korean wrong. lady... You want to run train on a Korean no, 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 no. train on that The Korean, Korean lady who cooks the food and just gives it to you, and you, I mean, you pay her, but it's cooked food. It's incredible. Twister potato. All right, Twister. don't remind me to no. just tweet me a Twister potato. Dude, thank you, dude, thank you. It's, it's delicious. It's very good. Oh, you know, while Jess was here, I never mentioned this, but while Jess was here, we went to Coney Island. Yeah, who's that? The Gita they are the cones. Or? We had, yeah, we went to the Nathan's, you know, the famous mm. there. Did you go on July 1st? Wait, did you go to the Mango no, Bajangos? No. M- Mango Bajangos. Mango's no, You took me there. Oh, oh, Grace Papaya? No, I still have never taken her there, actually. <laughs> that was so yeah. off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Grace Papaya. No, papaya, I never took not Mango. No, we got, like, corn dogs. But we also got, uh, you know, common fair food staple funnel cake. Mm. One um, of my favorites. Yeah, I do really enjoy funnel cake. But it is like so profoundly American. It's like yeah, it's, it's pancake batter, but then mm-hmm. just like deep fried with yeah. no effort at all. Just like squirt a mm-hmm. bunch of, you know, pancake batter and hot oil. And I also got covered in powdered sugar. Yeah, it looks it like so shit. good though. It is delicious. I love it. Yeah, it's it might be the worst food for you that I can think of. It's re- yeah, that, it can't deep be healthy. Deep fried anyway. Twinkie. I fed yeah, butter. I dude, bad. I don't know. I think that the funnel cake might be worse for you well that's why you only eat it once a year at most i'm not trying to shame you i'm just saying like for interest's sake i think it might be the least healthy food i can think of that is literally the one (laughs) 
<laughs> Our flag dude stabbed their flag dude in the fucking face. <laughs> oh boy, the, uh, oh boy, that was a treat. Well, the other thing with the funnel cake is that like you're, you're never eating an entire funnel cake to yourself. I right? am. Like, Can you have really? an, a, an entire yeah. funnel cake? I thought they just put a bunch of fried dough on a plate until it can no longer structurally handle it. I mean, yeah, basically, but no. I mean, like, yeah, that's that's the funnel cake, and you know, you you don't you don't eat that. You, you share it with people. They put the know? fun in funnel. Mm -hmm. entire... I don't actually wow. know what part of a it is a funnel. Apparently, the eating entire funnel cakes is common. I was not aware. Yeah, I do it too. Wait, yeah, that's like what you're supposed yeah, to do. Yeah, that is a one each. I thought, oh, wow. It's okay. like one. It's like a pancake or two. You can share it. Yeah, I usually share it. I had I, share I had it. two pancakes today. Really? On a work day, you had pancakes. So like, I went to work late because I got I had to do like dentist stuff this morning. Uh huh. And so like, I I do you, do you, so, do you so often I took, have to do uh, do you so, often so have to do what, dentist stuff in the insurance business? What? Like you start your day and they're just like, I'm just gonna be a dentist for the first uh, four hours today. You gotta practice no. on the side. You know what I mean? I went to the dentist. So I took a half day off from work so I could just go to the dent. My my dentist appointment was at ten. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> so I went to my my dentist appointment at ten. So Why I got to like, so? sleep in a little bit. Um, and she's <laughs> so weird. Uh, and so after my dentist, which they were just like, all right, everything looks good since last time. And I was like, all right, great. Uh, so I went. So I was like. I needed shoes, so into the shoe store. So I got uh -huh. two pairs of shoes. Buy, buy one, get one half off. I was, I was happy about that. Nice. So what are you Adidas. gonna do with three shoes? I got a pair of Adidas and a pair <laughs> of Sperry's. So that was, uh, um, so I, that was like me being basic AF. But that's yeah. okay. Um, and then I was like, I got some time AF. before I need to be at work. So I went to fucking Denny's. Oh wow! And I got myself oh, good call. their like their their slam thing, which yeah, was yeah. like you get. Slam jam, I just shot a boy in the fucking face. So, uh, you get two pancakes, you get hash browns, you get yep. eggs, hash browns. Of sausage, <laughs> hash browns, two pieces of sausage, two pieces of bacon, and it was like seven bucks. Wow, that's, that's a cheap. good deal. It was like yeah. that's a really good deal. That Drink good. included or no? Uh, drink. I, I'd that's probably give you a coffee, right? All, all in all, my bill was like. 9:42. Dude, if oh, you get a if good. you sit down and in a that restaurant, that includes coffee and water. Yeah, which yeah. water. If you get a bill at a restaurant as an adult that's under ten dollars, that's like a, it's like they're giving you money to be there. Exactly. Yeah, for real, dude. Yeah, yeah. So I that was a treat. So I since I normally like pack my lunch, and I was like, I you know I'm not gonna do that today, and I got like half a day off. So yeah. So it was it was a nice little treat before work. That's pretty cool. Did yeah. you treat yourself? So you, did you sit down in the Denny's by yourself eating the uh, breakfast? Yeah. Food? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, you, they, 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 like, they, I didn't say, I didn't be like, all right, you please seat me for one person, because they, <laughs> they have, like, the, the people like me, they've got a whole booth, like a, like a, not a booth, like a bar. Oh, they have a loser section? No, yeah, they got, <laughs> they got, like, the bar that you can go up to and sit down. Like, you don't have those at your own diners near you? I don't know, probably. They should just... never let anyone eat alone, so, I mean, I'm sure they assign Josh someone. You've never, oh, that's cool, yeah. I like eating Sometimes. alone, honestly. Yeah. Like, I don't know, but you're a, you're a, Fast living international jet setter, Josh. When you get through yeah. security at the airport, you find like the perfect place to sit down, have a a meal and a drink before you go to your uh, your boarding gate. That's like my favorite meal I have. Yeah. That, in the six month period, is just you, the bartender, and the TV and your phone probably. <laughs> a meal and a drink and two in the stink. <gasps> yeah, yeah, good for yeah, the yeah, night. Yeah. Yeah, uh, like so. When, yeah, when you go to the airport, like the best thing is just like, all right, let me find my gate because I'm yep. gonna be responsible. G sixty nine. Then yeah, you you find gate sixty nine, and then you go. Uh, then you go find the nearest bar. You, you get a you get a nice. One, please? Yeah, you get a you get your drink. I'll take one twelve dollar um, beer, please. Yeah, <laughs> and then you get a double shot. Nice. Yeah. Did I tell you when I came back from uh, L A. I was at the bar with uh, David in the airport, uh -huh. and then there was like a Midwestern family next to me that was looking through the menu, and they were like, y'all got any drink specials? And then <laughs> the bartender said, everything special. But then he <laughs> said, he said, check it out. If you want a bargain, the best deal on the menu is you get a beer and a shot for $10. And yeah, then oh they, my God. they said, I don't want the shot. And this lady next to me went, I'll take the shot. And then... <laughs> 
they just totally ghosted her and did not <laughs> react to her well, whatsoever. Yeah. That's and then, done. like two minutes later, she got her drink, and to no one at all, because she was there by herself, she went, I'm going to get fucked up. And then walked away. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's really good. I like that a lot. See, those kind of encounters are exactly why I'm afraid of eating alone in a, in a public place. Why? Because you accidentally might go, I'm going to get fucked up. <laughs> yeah, I say that all the time out loud. You did say that a few times, I think. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Is that why oh. you're scared of eating alone? Maybe. They added billiards yeah. to hand sim as well. Oh, there oh, you go. Oh, yeah. good. <laughs> Give it to try to chalk my cue. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, I mean, I, I have no problem eating alone. I like let's it. Do, yeah. Let's do Britain or France. Let's do which one? I'm which so one? mad that. <laughs> let's do Britain. I just joined France after you told me to join. France. All right, let's do France. Oh my! Are God. we doing France? I'm, I'm on Britain. I'm right France. Now. All right. <laughs> I'm upset. What's the uh is. Is the flag bear? Uh, the flag bear is probably the flag bear, huh? Yeah, he's the guy who yeah. bears the flag. He yeah. bears flags, yeah. How do you? Oh, yeah, there it is. Typically, yeah. Um, you guys like breakfast food? No, oh, absolutely. Breakfast, yeah. I just had it's breakfast food today. The best food there yeah. is. I I'm a big fan of breakfast food. I don't All right, know. everyone be flag bearers. You can only have so many on a team, right? Yeah. Unless you're answering a lot of your own <laughs> questions today. Hey, it's better than me asking them and like being. You know, not thinking about it, and nah. then waiting for you to answer. So, like, this is a this is a good thing. It's a step you. forward. I agree. Yeah. 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 You ever think about it? How weird of a name, hash browns is. Why? It's like I mean, it's I it's, it's it's basically like a, you know, like a verb and then a color. And I don't know. I wouldn't even describe the flesh of a <laughs> potato as brown. To be honest with you, it was more it's more white. Well, really. It, it turns brown after you. Yeah, brown. I call it brown. Yeah, you do brown them. You know what they should call it? Browned whites. You fry it. <laughs> they <should. laughs> or like brown potatoes. Who knows? Well, it's egg whites, though. That would be confusing. Mm, you're right. Egg that would white. be confusing. You just call them egg white. You don't want that. Yeah, you don't want people confused. Do you want to be confused at breakfast? I don't I think don't, so. I don't, yeah. No. Oh. Not particularly. I'm just saying. What kind of hash, hash browns are weird name? Browned whites is fun. <laughs> what, what, kind of, what kind of hash browns are you guys like? What's your favorite kind of hash? Browns? I really like potato uh, patty style. Like yeah, McDonald's I like style. Those too. Yeah. yeah. And then I yeah. didn't used to like them, but like a grated hash brown, as long as it's cooked to crispiness, is fine by yeah. me. Yeah. And I'll then, take a home fry. Hash, hash, see, no, that's hash where browns like, are third objectively best is home better. Fry. Like the shredded are cubes? better than home fries, like the cubed potato. I, li I like home fries too, but it depends because sometimes they sog it up. And yeah. Like, oh, oh. Peppers in there. And... Get a little bit of that A1 steak bit going on in there, a little, little. A little seeping sausage going on. Mm -hmm. Seeping sausage? I'm not sure. Yeah, if they get the meat sausage. juices that get all up in them potato guts there. <laughs> what? Are you okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. What's up, right, man? Yeah. Just checking. I just get passionate about meat. I don't know what's I wrong do with like your meat. sausage that it seeps so readily. Mm. It's a little meat grease. Let it get oh, on the potatoes. It happens to everybody, you know, when you get excited. But, uh, I'm a little excited. I don't know if I'm not excited. Yeah. Can't hit what you can't see. I want some meat right now. Just give me like a big, big old turkey leg. You know, I got oh, a great startup yes. idea. Okay. All right. It pairs up people that are dining at a breakfast yep. diner. Okay. Based on what they like the most about an all-day breakfast and what they like the least. So, for example, I love potatoes, but right. I don't really like eggs. So I could go to the diner and be like seeking potatoes in exchange for eggs. And then some guy would be like, hey, are you ladies man 217? And then he would scrape his potatoes onto my plate and I would scrape my eggs onto his plate. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. It's not just like dick. a place you can go for breakfast, but you date everyone there. Mm. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, it's like no, a senior's home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I mean like you go every day. And you get like a table established for you, right? Like you pay a service, and then you always have a table. And every time you go, you'll get someone else seated at your table, and then you. Well, just then have it. yeah, but every time you go, you have a table, so they aren't. Does everyone who goes gets a table? Yeah, it doesn't seem right. It well, it, it moves. Oh, you're well, that right. That sounds yeah, like I guess a regular... it has to move around. Yeah. 
Some of everyone will just be sitting at different tables. <laughs> <laughs> you have 26 people all sitting by themselves. I guess it wouldn't work. <laughs> it's a all great right. dating bar. Maybe maybe let's do 13 and 13 then. How about yeah. that? What if like the men sit down and the women have to move? That's fucked up, dude. What do yeah. you? <laughs> you have to date whoever is sat at your table. Yeah, yeah. That's the rule. No, I like and that. for a predetermined amount of time as well. The restaurant tells you you got to date for one year, and then oh, you got to abide uh, so by now that. now it's, it's Black Mirror. I so, see. That's a Black Mirror episode. Yeah. Um, you know, what would be a really good like speed dating organization <laughs> is mirror. you just uh, like you sit down, same situation, and then you get an iPad and you both choose what to watch on Netflix. And you, I think you could learn a lot if they suggest some dumb you shit. Agree. Exactly. Yeah. That's where you figure out where you're. Hey, like... you want to watch the first four <laughs> seasons of Supernatural? Yeah, you'd be like, and <laughs> eh. you got a button that you can hit. <laughs> Sends them to the next table. It just drops the couch backward, and they fall on their neck. <laughs> dude, we should do this. This this is the million it's dollar. It's a good idea, idea dude. Oh, I'm with yeah. it, dude. Yeah, I'm, I'm down. Oh, he jumped over my bullet. He's so smart. He's beginning to believe. <laughs> Okay, what would it be called? Like Netflix or Spill? Netflix. Yeah. Netflix no, I'm thinking or like because the chair knocks them out, right? So like that's the spill. You either watch Netflix or you get spilled. It frightens me that it seems like most of your business ideas pretty much Netflix. resist or exist entirely on the basis of a single pun. <laughs> <laughs> that is how businesses are made. I don't it's think so. Oh, you yeah. shot me in the face. Well, uh, similarly, Netflix. Yeah, uh, it's pretty good. It's yeah, pretty but they nice. nut. Yeah, that, you nut. That, that implies some shit. That I, don't I don't think you have to have sex. It's just highly yeah. suggested. Well, I mean, Do you, you have know, sex that's there. What the, that's what the that's what the uh, chill part of the Netflix and chill is, right? Yeah, but you can't just that. have a place that's like meant for like greeting and fucking. Why not? That's not. Wait, why fun. not? Because like, isn't the, like, are you paying to go there? You pay them, and then you have sex. That's yeah. fucked. Uh, that's like prostitution. What no, it's not. It's not prostitution. You're, You're paying, paying to else. go somewhere. No, to no, no, no. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, here, let me clarify. You go to a place, right, and then you pay the woman to have sex with you. <laughs> oh, okay. So, oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is there still Netflix? <laughs> yeah, there's still Netflix if you want. Yeah. Dude, I was watching this show on Netflix like last it. night. It was called Inside the World's Toughest Prisons. This uh -huh. guy went to this prison in Poland that was basically like out of prison architect. But he's right. the biggest pussy I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> wow! Even, even more so than any of us, and it's great. He'll oh, probably kick your ass. He might kick my ass. You're going to agree with me. I swear to you. He's going to kick your ass now. They <laughs> put him in solitary confinement, right? Just to show him what it was like. And he was pacing around going like, I can't take it anymore. Oh, my God. And then the guards were like, should we let him out? Okay, fine. Let's do it. And they let him out, and they're like, how long do you think you were in here for? And he's like, I don't know. An hour and a half. He was in there for five fucking minutes. He was <laughs> losing. He went insane in there. For, he was in a room for like the length of a song, and he lost his mind. That's crazy. I want to challenge you all to solitary confinement because I think I could win. No way. Uh, no, I don't want to do you that. Tap out when you tap out. I'll tap out of five minutes. Give me that. I'll be that guy. I would rather just tap out before. No, I yeah, would want to win. You won't win. Though. I guarantee oh, no. I can beat you in solitary confinement. I'll, I'll well, be out be eating, I'll yeah, be eating I ceviche. It. You'll be can in I there have... singing songs to yourself. Can I have some like TV or something? Then no, it's no, solitary you just get, It's a room. <laughs> yeah, you can, you no can have someone room. that be your roommate. Oh, I was yeah, even more pissed because cool, yeah. this dude's room had a window. And I was like, just wow. look out the window for five minutes. Like, I don't understand why you're freaking out like some kind of weirdo. Yeah, if I had a window, this would be no problem. If I have yeah. no window, it could be a little problem, but I think I can still do it for a while. You just make friends with, like, a bird, like uh, that guy in Shawshank Redemption. Michael Keaton? I got, like, a series of routines I would go through that would keep me occupied for a while. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? I think he's don't talking about, about it. jerking it. <laughs> no. <laughs> I got like some stuff I can do in my mind that keeps me occupied just to think about so you're stuff. Jerking it with just thinking about it. Handless no, jerks. Thinking I'm about not, jerking it? Not jerking it. I don't think I need to jerk it when I'm in solitary. I, I would definitely you don't jerk think that it. Yeah. Probably I guarantee I'd, that you... I'd do it until it pulled off. Yeah, Absolutely. No, it's actually really dangerous. You can get an infection. No, yeah, free medical care. 
Yeah, yeah they're not going to pl- take you out. Actually, that's a good reason to get you out, right? If yep. you're bleeding from the dick, they'll be yeah, like, absolutely well, that's true. All right, you guys bleed from your dick, so I'm just going to not do that. What are you going to do? Look out the window? <laughs> I'm going to no, go through that. my routines one by one. What kind of routines know, might you got, a... you strange man? I got six of them. Let me get through them. <laughs> Oh, that son of a bitch! Tell us what they are? Or... Yeah, are you... No? <laughs> oh, alright. Why would I tell you? That's my routines, you're gonna use them. Oh, yeah, probably. Alright. It I'm... took me years to develop these techniques, I can't just give them away for free. Holy shit, Weird there's 15 minutes heard. left in this fucking game. I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> Oh, I haven't really been playing this the entire time it was No, me either, yeah. It's just, just a banter of... engine. Yeah, yeah, I'm just not paying attention. I don't even see my name on the list. Oh, I'm six I... of them. I was told I stabbed Rob one time with my flag. That that's makes very rude happy. of you. Why'd you do that? He probably had it coming. Yeah, that's fair. You guys think he would do well in prison? Yeah. No. No, no chance I would. in hell. I yeah. would want to go to solitary as soon as possible. That's yeah. a weird... You're I wrong. think I think you to would be, be fine in prison, actually, and I'm being Sorry. sincere. <laughs> I think I think Nick, you would be fine in prison. Rob, you're gonna have some problems. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Sorry, this, I'm doing problems. See, what, I'm gonna do the thing where it starts as an insult to you, but then it turns into a compliment to you and an insult to Nick. Um, oh, but if okay. I was his cellmate, then because basically, I think if someone was like, "Hey, Rob, give me your pudding." You would be like, yeah. fuck that is my pudding. Oh, that's true. I would yeah, fight I see you. What you're doing. And if somebody oh, was yeah. like, hey, yep. Nick, give me your pudding, I think he'd I be would like. stab him in the eye. I think you would be like, here's my pudding. I don't want to fight about it. Yeah. No, I'd be like, I'm going to have sex with you. Yeah, yeah. He asked for your pudding. You asked for his pussy. Yeah. <laughs> well, I hated that. <laughs> it's a real thigh opener. <laughs> <laughs> I think I would have a problem in prison too, for sure. What do you do with your pudding? Well, I'm always sniping at people. I can't help it. You're gonna if steal I, people's if pudding. If I if I see a conversational opening where I can, you know, ding somebody, I can't help myself. Yeah, it's like that scene in Orange Is the New Black. Be like, oh man, that prison food sure sucks, huh? It's like I make the food. Rob, you killed oh me. Oh my god, you can't make red your enemy. No. Yeah. Oh. The uh, yeah, well, like, are you supposed to fight the guy who tries to take your pudding, or what's the rule? What's the? Are we, I mean, wait, 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 the are we referring guy? to what are we referring to as pudding anymore? It's uh, just pudding. It's the dessert they give you. Like literally, yeah. It's the Sodexo oh. dessert that the American taxpayer paid for. When's the last time that you had pudding? There's 13 cents of corn syrup in it, but it costs eight dollars a container for reasons unbeknownst. <laughs> what well, kind of flavor make a profit pudding? On the pudding. I'm gonna be honest with you. I've never eaten pudding. You what? What? Wait, I, no, hold on. What? I may have consumed pudding on an airplane as it like when you're forced to eat a dessert, I'll eat it. What you, but who the fuck is forcing I've, you to eat a dessert? Are you in prison? <laughs> you know, like when you're on an airplane, they give you a meal and there's a dessert, and you're like, and they forced you. Well, like, I'm, you know, if I'm hungry, I'm gonna eat it. Is the thing. Are you kidding? If you like, were you on Air Force? Don't shoot one? me. I'm taking a shit. <laughs> air Fucking Force one. Butterscotch, tapioca, vanilla, chocolate. Chocolate striped vanilla. I've eaten them all. They're all great. Get on my level, nerd. I'm aware there's like many flavors pudding, of pudding too. Yeah. Banana is also good. Also yeah. lemon curd. I've I'm eaten them all. Banana, I yeah. thought you only ate it if the school provided your lunch or if you were a hundred years old. Are you kidding? I would abs- if they if the school gave me pudding instead of like the moldy milk and shit. Well, our school gave us pudding. Yeah, I think I pudding is a pudding is a very school. common school dessert. I think. Dude, I wish, man. Our school. Uh, I don't know about you guys. Was this was this in your public school as well? Every meal. It didn't matter what meal it was. Your choices to drink were milk, milk or chocolate, chocolate milk. milk. Yeah, yeah. yeah Wait, milk. we had strawberry yeah. milk. Sometimes we had that. vanilla milk. Skim milk was also an option. They'd give you like a like a big piece of round disgusting pizza and then they give you some milk to drink with it dude oh, did y'all have like mexican pizza that was super good no what it was like I... a it was a circle like a small circle pizza with like <laughs> let me mexican take you Jesus. down because we're going to <laughs> small <laughs> circle <laughs> pizza <laughs> yeah, <it's been laughs> nothing is real so. you got served actual See, look 
But they did the the. I will say the Chef Boyardee ravioli things that they would serve sometimes. I dug those. those I ain't cool. never had that. We had country fried steak. That was the. I, the I like how you said country <laughs> fried steak. Yeah, country fried steak. I want some fucking steak in my my freaking. Come country on, fried man. steak day was amazing. We had <laughs> Where did you go to hamburgers? school? Yeah, we yeah. also had microwaved hamburgers. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, my, I don't know. We didn't have, I think. Did you Maybe have real cooking sad. utensils and shit in your cafeteria? Because we, we, yeah, had, uh, we had boilers yeah, and metal. microwaves. That's all we had. Were, we had mic. We had metal. We had plastic. Cutlery. We had manicotti. Did you eat the manicotti? Oh, I didn't have gross. no manicotti. I didn't like that. I did not go to a private school. I went to, like, Podunk, like, public school. Like, I only graduated with, like, maybe 200 people. Wow. Can yeah. somebody clear the smoke from this window? Can somebody come in this room and shoot this man. I'm not. Ma I'm, I'm not joking around, chat. Like I actually had all that. I believe you. I'm just. You know, I would at be our, too. I'm very angry though. More than at anything. our school, we had, like, we had a special every single day, and almost every single day it was French fries, and then on Fridays it was Mexican French fries. <laughs> that sounds pretty well, That sounds all right. I it was like, like the, what do they put on Mexican French fries? Like sour cream, we had and green onions, Pizza and Hut salsa. Day, like once that a month. That sounds great. This we is had like Pizza Hut Mexican Pizza. Yeah, we had Pizza Hut Day once a month. Are you fucking kidding me? Mm -mm. What else did we have? Oh, I forgot good. about Caviar Tuesdays. <laughs> hey, 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 there's nine minutes of this game left. Yeah, Wait, yeah. So, but somebody yeah, seriously, please, please kill this man in the corner. He's I'm trapped. shooting yeah, the actual man pizza hut. in the corner. We didn't have Chick Fil A. We had a we had a salad bar every day. What? So That's you can do that. You had so a had salad like, bar at your school? Yeah. yeah, we had a salad bar in our school. That's it was insane. like it was a smaller one. It wasn't like huge enough, but yeah, you can get a big old salad, dude. And can... like they didn't give you like they didn't be like, hey, you have too much salad. You just get like you know all all that you want. Do they, they have cheese? Do they have cheese? Yeah, in the they salad had. Bar? Yep. Mm -hmm. wow. That cheese, they had little diced up pieces of ham. All right, actually, though, side note, I'm not a big fan of, like, any food that decides to put, like, shredded, uncooked cheese on things. I don't know why, but I feel like when you uncooked. have a shredded cheese... Well, yeah, like, you know, if you get, like, a salad, sometimes they put, like, shredded... Yeah, un I, yeah that's I'm like, for it. Like, extremely for totally yeah. 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 like that. Person personally, not, not, my, not my thing. Not we my didn't bad. have Taco Bell Day. You know, Parmesan did. is not cooked when you shred it onto your spaghetti, so how about that? Uh, that's a fair point. I do enjoy that quite a lot. Oh, oh, yeah. tacos. oh, we did have taco day, but I never got tacos because they only had his like hard shell tacos. That's disgusting. Those are the Dude, good corn. You can ask Malf. We went to a school that was like aggressively underfunded. And when we traveled, because we were both on the trivia team, which, you know, <laughs> get you. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, that's what you get, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just shot Nick, so <laughs> suck it. We you went to like job. the the really rich school that was next to the university. I remember at their cafeteria they had like real chicken, and we looked at it like, you know, like there's those stories of like Mikhail Gorbachev going to America in the 1970s, and he's like, "All right, I see that the your fake grocery store looks very nice, but where's the real ones?" And they're like, "Dude, <laughs> that was like a Safeway. There's ten in, within the driving distance." And then he cried. Like, that's how we <laughs> felt when we went to this school. Is like, for four years, we've been eating, you know, gussied up cardboard. These guys are having full chicken oh. breasts every day. Hmm. That's ridiculous. Yeah, dude, like, no joke, uh, it, at least here, I don't know if it's if it's the, the same way there, but the same company that, that provides the food for the prisons in the city provides it for the public schools as well. Yeah, man. Yeah. It's a Dexo. It's, 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 oh, uh, man. we had... We had like rib day, so, like rib <laughs> what? Day. But but it was to be fair, it was like, oh, it, was a like McRib. The McRib. it was like uh, a McRib. Yeah. Yeah. Oh okay okay. Yeah. So I pulled up my my school's lunch menu for like a for the month of May, and they even stepped up their game since I've been there. Really? So like, fucking Blended. well they got they got breakfast every day. My uh, school had McRib Day also, actually. I quite enjoyed it. The Dude, hell, they have, like, chicken fajitas now. They've got meatball sub on fresh mancini's bread. 
What? Chicken and biscuits. There's fresh bread? Our bread was no. gold. Can I just go to your school now and eat lunch? Sounds good. They always uh, had the <laughs> super beef nachos. That was always good. I like. Wait, that. wait, hold on. Here's a secondary question. Did you guys have to pay for your school lunch? Because Yeah, it's a dollar. Dollar sixty? A dollar sixty? Yeah, that's yeah. insane. Yeah. Five what bucks? the fuck are you talking yeah. about? A dollar sixty? That's yeah, how that's much insane. it used to be. I don't know what it is anymore. I can <laughs> it's find so out. cheap. That's well, yeah. Really, yeah. Um, let me see. What yeah, basically, it? fuck this state, mostly. Go ahead. Go so, ahead. paid breakfast is a buck forty-five. Oh no, maybe it's two sixty. Maybe it was two sixty, because now it is two ninety-five. Mm. So maybe it was two sixty. Uh, that's a three dollar lunch, dude. That's amazing. That's still yeah, that's still pretty good. Yeah, I would have <laughs> said it was only a dollar sixty when I went there. I gotta ask my brother. I don't know. Do you guys want to play Jackbox? Yeah, yeah sure. take me from this. Yeah, yeah, I'm ready. To, uh... I'm playing Space Invaders right. Extreme right now. Nice, nice. See you in All right. minutes. Um, I need to get some Tylenol because my head is pounded. Breakfast <sighs> for lunch. They used to do. Sorry that. about your head, Rob. Feel better. Oh, that's all right. I'll be right back. Dude, they got some good stuff. Man, these invaders got to get pounded too. They deserve it. You ever think that maybe like you're a space invader, like you're invading their space and they're just fighting back? Hey, I gotta go to the bathroom. Where are you no, because they came yeah. to us. I don't know. Maybe it's from your perspective, so you're moving forward, but the camera's following you. You ever think, like, you know how people insult each other? Sometimes people, like, spit on each other, right? That's, like, really derogatory. It's really demeaning. Uh, do you think that there's any context which you can do something to demean someone, but it actually could be only taken as demeaning? So what I'm thinking is, what? sometimes people like to spit on each other for, like, sexy time reasons. So I'm trying to <laughs> just figure out if there's, like, a specific thing you can do that is only demeaning and no one would enjoy. I don't think people spit on I... each other for sexy time. Yeah, they spit into each other's mouths for some reason. No. <laughs> no, they don't. Hey, by the way. Hi. Hi. Hey, you doing? Cutting off someone's arm? Someone could like that. I am back. I don't think I like that, but I think someone out there might. What are we liking? I don't think anyone out there likes that. What are we talking about? Is there anything you can do to demean someone that can only be taken as demeaning, regardless of context? I'm not sure I understand the, the concept. Uh, you spit on someone to make fun of them, to go, I hate you, you're a bad, bad old dude. Oh, what did I uh -huh. miss? <laughs> and then, <laughs> hey. is it possible that someone might take that as like, ooh, I'm so turned on, you spit on me, that's hot. Yeah, probably. Right, so is there anything that no one would find like that? Awesome. Hey, I'm demeaning you. Yeah. I don't believe you. Well, that's, now you're just changing the goalposts. Yeah, I guess. I've been I'm being honest, though. Oh, I don't no. think it's called changing the goalposts, also. <laughs> so <laughs> soften them out for other goalposts. <laughs> hey, uh, Justin. Yo, what's up? You must be Twitch. Why? Because you're dropping frames. No, that's what they said in that mission again and again. I, oh. When I was watching you do the bounty, I, out of memory. I felt like a kindred spirit, because I also had uh, her say, you must be Twitch, about a hundred times. I am happy that that's over, and <laughs> the bounty's done, and now I don't probably ever have to play that game again. Is I, it really that bad? I kind of like it, it but... Worse. It's like aggressively average. Uh, yeah. I'm just not into that style of game. I still gotta do it. Like, uh, do it like. Reminds me of the division. Mm. Yeah. Oh, I like that way better. I like the division. <laughs> Whoa! Got him. It's oh, like that's a, a little dick. aggressive, to be honest. Yeah, yeah dude. I don't get it. It's like a dick. He he said it. Oh, he said it in yeah. a way that made it sound like a dick. Yeah. Me not, dude. You know what I'm totally eating later? Wait, wait, dick. wait, wait. Pussy. Wait, wait. Dick, pussy. Yeah, both those. Yeah. Okay, give me a dragon. What else? You know what? You're probably not going to guess this, to be honest. I, okay, oh, for, the first thing right. I was going to suggest was your... So the answer is pussy. Shabbat bread. I was mm, going to suggest no. your leftover meat sauce. Mm, I ate that for lunch today. Okay. Following that, are, do you get it, are you making it or are you getting it from a restaurant? I'm going to make it. I'm going to assume that you... Can I give you a hint? Yeah, please do. Sandwich. Okay. A sandwich. Oh, is it a yep. sandwich? 
It's yeah, a you got it. It's I'm going to say that it is a fluffer nutter. <laughs> oh, no, I hate those, actually. Well, that, that's why it. it would surprise me to see you yeah, consuming oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> A nutter fluffer. A nutter right? fluffer, yeah. Is it a sandwich that is comprised <laughs> of the only ingredients available in your home, which is why we wouldn't be able to guess it in the first place? Dude, no, I... you wouldn't be able to guess it because it's not... Uh, it, it's more healthy than something I would typically eat. A fluffer nutter is... Uh -huh. Marshmallow fluff and peanut butter. Yeah, yeah. A nutter fluffer is cum and shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hate huh. that. Yes. yes, it is. Interesting. Isn't that also called Santorum if there's lube? Mmm. We try mm. not to get political here. Yeah. <laughs> what do you, what's a zodiac? Is that when you eat Ted Cruz? <laughs> um. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a cucumber sandwich. What? Gross. Yeah. That's not a sandwich. This is the Great Depression. You, you, you just gotta cut up some cucumber and put it between bread and eat it? Nah, you put cream cheese in it too. That's not healthy. Can well, we get a link, link yeah, it's yeah, healthier than something right I now. would eat. Link, link a loony? Link a loony? Dude. Hey, that's not, that's not, that's not a weird thing. That's a it's, pretty... I mean, it's a weird thing if you don't live in England. You think so? Yeah. What is? I don't a think I've ever seen a cucumber sandwich in my life. Cucumber sandwich. Cucumbers are very good. I like them now. Boring. I was watching the Twitch food channel. This mm. motherfucker peeled a cucumber and then scooped all the seeds out. So it was like a weird you and then chopped it up and put it in a salad. I lost like my mind. <laughs> are the seeds that obnoxious? Not at all. No, not at all. They're just like little water pellets. Jess doesn't like them, actually. Huh. Just, she, she'll scoop. You know what I really enjoy? She's a scooper. And I'm like a little mad at myself for doing it because I feel like I'm lazy. Mm. What? They sell like the containers of pre spiral cut zucchini. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, yeah. It's like a dollar or two more than just buying the zucchini and doing it yourself, but like I'm saving no. time. Yeah, Dude, it's already an opportunity I, cost. I, I, I buy pre peeled garlic, actually. Yeah, I'm really? saving. Yeah. Where do you I like that? It. <laughs> they, they come in like the little plastic containers. They're nice. Really? I'm going to have to do that because I hate peeling garlic. Oh, me too. It's the worst. Okay. NLSS you know, links. I'm just, okay. There you, go, there you go. There you go. There you Sorry, it took forever. That's Here's a good one. Garlic. When you say That's it. a really good one. It's a little Shrek like. I like that. Uh, Is it? So, what's the thing with peeling garlic, Justin? Like. It makes your hands super sticky. Oh you yeah, smash yeah, it with a knife worst. and then peel it. Your hands are gonna get that super sticky, garlicky. Oh, absolutely. I that's love the Allison. Like after you, you prepare garlic. Yeah, no, seriously. And like mince it and like cut out. I love like the smell in my hands. Oh, of course. Mm -hmm. oh, it's so it is good. a good smell. I just it's hate so sticky. good. I you love love the smell of your hands in general. Oh, just all the time. Your game. Yeah, I like yeah, like so grabbing nice. my nuts and then sniffing my hands. It's hot. What's that smell like? I had a guy in chat yesterday. It was just a little bit too far. He was like, "Hey, NL, you ever like shove your hand down your pants and smell your hand and then like the smell?" And I read it, but did not reply. And for the next like two hours, he kept posting that like once every five minutes. And I'm like, "Oh wow!" I thought you were gonna say for the next two hours you kept sticking your hand down your pants and smell. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, "It's gotta smell good eventually." So put your hand down my pants, mm. and I bet you'll feel nuts. Yeah, mm. I'm Cisco. Yeah, I'm Ebert, and you're getting two thumbs up. You're out of touch. You remember it, right? Oh yeah. That's <laughs> and, I mean, I never really listened to the Bloodhound Gang <laughs> enough to know the lyrics, but you know. No, I'm not gonna time them out when they say oh, that. They're subscribers. If you subscribe, I will never ban you. You can say whatever you want to Ryan. It's Absolutely true, you. dude. Because here's yeah. the thing. If you're a subscriber and you're like, you're the stupid moron, I hate you, and you're fat, I'm going to be like, yeah, well, you give me some percentage of $5 every month, so basically you are you must be a real dumbass. What if they're a prime sub, though? Well, it still doesn't matter to me. What if they were yeah. gifted a sub? <laughs> yeah, but you, you, you... I still get paid. <laughs> But they didn't ban you even if you're unsub, to be honest. With yeah, you. I won't ban because you might sub eventually. Yeah, that's a fair point, man. Yeah. I don't yeah, think it's, so. It's wild West in there. Wicky wow. Wicky wicky wow wow. Mm. Ooh, ooh. Listening to the uh, Star Fox soundtrack from ooh, Super Nintendo. Ooh, yeah. You get like the Corneria theme? Uh, you know what? That's yeah, a good one. That's exactly oh, what I'm listening to. Uh, <laughs> 
Yeah. The first prompt is a good song. The most Cornelius surprising good person to admit the most surprising to, to, admit to being the Zodiac Killer. Uh, Sean Murray <laughs> oh, or Carson boy. Daly. Alright. What's the difference? <laughs> Which one is Sean Murray? He's Hello Games. No Man's oh. No Mensky. No Mensky. No, man. <laughs> no, no Mansky. <laughs> Don't you mean Sean Murphy? Don't you mean Sean Murphy gonna lie about having online multiplayer in his game oh. and then mm. put it in two years later and write the mm. ship? Has it really been two years? Yeah. 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 That's it's been a long time, yeah. Don't, you mean, don't, don't you mean don't you mean don't you mean gone Murphy? <laughs> no. Remember, because no. after the game came out, and they didn't tweet for like six months. He disappeared, yeah. Yeah, no, no, that was weird. See, yeah, yeah, yeah. The calling. We have fun here. The most creative thing you can make entirely out of boogers. The booger man or a big old statue. Ooh. A big old statue of the booger man. And you just, like, fuck. Booger man is an actual <laughs> man. Yeah. Terrible answers I've submitted. It's an <laughs> SNES game. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was it any good? It always no, looked stupid, so I never played it. It wasn't that good. Never made. Yeah. I mean, the game is called Booger Man. You guys ever play that uh, claymation fighting game for the Super Nintendo? Dude, Clay Fighter. Clay Fighter. Yeah. I played several. Yeah, yeah even Fighter. the hell, the the one for Nintendo 64, Clay, Clay Fighter 63 and a half. Yeah. Really? Oh, like it's that. blistering. They, they did a little pun. 63, 63 and a half. 63 and a third. Goddamn. 63 and a third. I love yeah. playing the little slime guy because he has a little fork kick move and you just spam it over yeah. and over again. Isn't he just oh, oh, you were that kid. <laughs> yep. <laughs> You're the guy who presses Make down, down, A. down A on Blanca. The breast. No, down A on Yoshi. The best thing about going to prison, the great pudding selection the or Nick's pudding? The best. Bad Mr. Frosty. Hey, uh, new people who just joined the call. Did Blue you guys play that shoes? Ryan's never had pudding? I've never had pudding. What? Yeah, I don't never know. I honestly... First Mr. the mac and cheese, now this. You know what's funny? I, I had mac and cheese. cheese. I had mac and cheese at the food truck festival. Yeah. Oh my god, mac and cheese sounds doesn't so good. Even I'm like so cake. hungry. I don't like mac and cheese. Oh, uh, jo yeah, Justin, whoa. I'm so, like, mostly with you. That's what? Not, it's not the war. What? It's not terrible. The I don't world? eat it. It's like, here's like the thing. Like I've had it twice. Uh, both times I've been like, it's pretty good. It's but like, right. if it has you toppings, I eat that top layer and then like a little of the bottom layer. And eventually I'm like, I'm just eating boiled noodles. It's so it's, it's 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 so noodles easy are, to I like it's though. Just, it's fat, carbs, and cheese. It's I know. not to like. I don't know. It's yeah. just, it's kind of, I want some extra texture sometimes. I want like a little crunch thrown in there. Yeah. Put some breadcrumbs on top. Yeah, well, that's once I'm through the yeah. top layer, though. It's... Then put more on it after. That's like, have a little the too thing much. Dude, make a like a breadcrumb lasagna. Invent a family-friendly replacement word that you could say instead of an actual curse word. Florop or shit? <laughs> I thought it florop because shit doesn't make any sense in this <laughs> That's what <laughs> made me point, laugh yeah. about it. <laughs> but I do understand. You lost my two points. It's a little it's cerebral. Really yeah, yeah. Well, my headphones. You oh, need to learn how to partition your Mac. Okay, so take your pick. Is it easy to like, or do you need to take a course to learn how to fucking partition it? <laughs> Sounds a little like there's a barrier of opportunity here. <laughs> the first What's that. Oh, no. The first inductee of the A Hole Hall of Fame, Judas or Adam Savage's asshole. That's so good. Oh, All right, man. well done. <laughs> Thank I, you. Uh... There we go. Sorry. But like, I ain't that my, my dinner you get crack. in the Midwest that's like you open a package of Fritos and you dump a bunch of stuff in it? Oh, Frito pie. Yeah. Oh, uh, we call, call like, it sauce meal or something. <laughs> <laughs> sauce um, meal. I would probably eat that. That seems okay. We're having Wait, sauce yeah. meal for dinner. <laughs> Well, I got that other one, the hot dish. Hot dish. Yeah, hot dish. Hot dish. Yeah, That's dish. the one I was yeah. thinking of. You say hot. Yeah. Wait, never mind. What's the first thing you would do if you could time travel? Go play chess with Gandhi or invest in Bitcoin. More like Gandhi, because <laughs> he's dead. Oh, <laughs> oh, yo, is he, though? D -D yeah, we, we're not sure is what we found out. Yeah, but <laughs> gone die. <laughs> 30 yeah. years ago. Because he's old. You gone <laughs> die. You gonna die. Yeah. Dunk on that fool. <laughs> Hot dish. Hot dish. I, well, it's just, it's just tater tots, man. Tater tots are great. Was you know, pudding? Yeah, tater tots were. Because you guys seem so surprised by this lack of pudding consumption. 
I was yeah. never you ever had a snack pack. Uh, I mean, I've seen them, but I've, they were never purchased for me. And as a child, I didn't purchase my own groceries as a result. What did you eat? Did you eat wood as a kid? <laughs> was it just because I didn't eat corn syrup and brown food coloring? I guess I ate fucking wood. I ate bananas. I, like I was definitely like, I don't eat currently, really? But like, as a child, I was definitely given a lot of pudding. I mean, yeah. I, I, like, I don't blame you because, I mean, kids again, love pudding. you're not in control yeah. of it. Oh, you know what? Ryan probably grew up affluent. That probably makes a lot more sense, actually, as the white. But pudding is not a cups. pudding's not like a poor food. Oh, it absolutely is. I you get like a so. six pack for like two dollars. Yeah, I mean, water comes out of the tap. Rich people drink that. <laughs> it's like the eighth of a cent a, a glass. Yeah, I suppose so. And my brain is actually fried for this one. I don't know what to put. Well, you've been playing a lot of a bad game, so um, like I understand. It takes a while to remember how to play a good game. Austin, oh, listen, I'm what? a space frog and it's fun. Austin, <laughs> tell me about your your school lunches. All right, good. <laughs> All right, that was good. Yeah, no, I'm no, muted. I'm sorry. sorry. Justin, maybe you. I was muted. I'm sorry. Austin I'm talking I mean, I will go. No, I, was, I'm, I gave bar. Austin his chance. He, uh, <laughs> I need to think of an it. Justin, I'm moving to you. I can't. I'm thinking of an answer. Pepperoni oh, pizza, salad bar, bar and bad. black olives. <laughs> yeah, you southern fried chicken. My answer was boring. It was just the, the fucking microwave burgers or whatever. Mm. Like, okay. that, if they only oh, gave you people microwave burgers. Dude, it was day? garbage. The yeah, microwave burgers were everywhere. But see, yeah. here's the thing. I liked those. Yeah, well, yeah. that explains a lot. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, my high school, like, well, I had uh, free school lunch. So okay. Okay. Yeah. And that would entitle me to, like, a sandwich or a square slice of pizza. Ooh, yeah. Oh, pizza. oh, right. Yeah, yeah. You yeah, grew up yeah. in New York City, it. right? So you probably had the same well, like, kind of cardboard like, trash, right? On, on Long Island, but still, yeah, uh, it was, it was okay, like yeah. it might as well have been Queens where I was. So, yeah, yeah, here's yeah. the terrible yeah. thing is that uh, in my school, we had an A&W next to our cafeteria because it was on a college Ooh. campus. Right. Oh. Uh, so I could just go to the A&W if I wanted to, but it was, you know, fast food prices. So it was like $10 for a lunch. Right. Yeah. But it was A&W. Right. So did you, you, were, they let you leave the campus? What's that? Both. <laughs> yeah, you got to leave campus for in lunch. elementary school. It seems yeah. like it was in the same. Oh, no, this was right? this was high school. I thought uh, you guys never said that. This I, was. I was never like our. Well, I mean, my high school was kind of our elementary school. Where we couldn't time. leave. Paul, you couldn't leave even high school. We could. What? You couldn't leave in high school? No, no I couldn't. Correct. How are you yeah, supposed to go? We we couldn't leave the premises in high school. No. No. Nope. On your no. lunch break? No. No. Uh, yeah, mine insane. wasn't either. But 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 if you knew the security guard in the front, he'd let you walk out, which is pretty cool. Paul Bundy so sneak, sneak out. out. Paul Bundy's yeah. replacement for Babe the Blue Ox when he dies. Babe the Hot Fox or Ox the Blue Babe? Oh, you want to hear something crazy? Because this wasn't that long ago. Did you sneak out of school? I did. Crazy. Yeah. Oh my god. But no, I uh. <laughs> I thought so me too. I was. Anytime. I wound up. I, I after it's long story stuff, but I after leaving school and then coming back to school in like a separate program for like oh. but <laughs> we were allowed to leave the school campus to smoke cigarettes mm. what no that seems like a really forward campus. thinking policy for the school yeah that's and because the guy who ran the program chain smoke like a lunatic he was a, <laughs> he was a psychiatrist so like we'd literally like, i'd be in the middle of class and just be like hey i want to go smoke a cigarette and they'd be like, all right, go grab, you know, go grab Doc and head out. <laughs> and I'd go to his office, knock on the door, big, want to smoke? He'd be like, yeah. And I'd wow. out and just smoke a few cigarettes. Wow, that's horrible. I was like 15. That's pretty good. Yeah. And this is like 2002. Yeah. Really? <laughs> Two? Yeah. Dude, yeah, actually, my security guard, uh, the, the security guard that I said that was cool that would let us go out, he, uh, the Wu Tang came to play in New York one year. And we saw him at the show. <laughs> he was the RZA. Yeah, and like all the girls wanted to be like, oh my god, I want to take pictures with you. And he's like, no, please, for the love of God, do not take pictures of me here with you. I will lose my job. It's just blowing me away that oh, you guys were not allowed to leave your school. Yeah, it's like prison here, honestly. Yeah. That, like, yeah, we couldn't leave our school. Starting in ninth grade, schools? you just, if you wanted to go, you just left. That's, That's college. Crazy. You got to be a, of age to do that kind we of We were. 
we for the first two years, but once once you were a junior, you were, you were allowed to leave. We were never role. allowed to leave, even. Yes, yeah, Andrews. We weren't either. Yeah. Well, the, the thing was is that like they wanted us to not be allowed to leave, but since it was on a college campus, like they had no ability to control where we went because it was a massive yeah, campus, and we had I to think walk it's, around. It's, yeah. it's mostly a liability thing, right? Like they don't yeah. want you to go out, get hit by a car, and then the parents sue the school. When that happens here, they just go, "Sorry, your kid was a dumbass." <laughs> yeah. It did happen to somebody. They did get hit by a car, and they didn't blame the school. You shouldn't yeah. sue the school. You should sue the car. Mm. Yeah. They didn't get hit by the school. Yeah. I mean, the they school didn't put the car up to it. Yeah. The uh, best thing yeah, about living in school. an igloo, saluting your Justin Trudeau portrait or shitting in the same hole you fish. That's a good answer. Yeah, we were, one of my school's seniors were allowed to leave camp. Mm. But we would, uh, we had a grocery store across the street. So we would sneak off campus, go to the grocery store, and get like cans of soda for twenty cents and like a loaf of bread. <laughs> and just, and just and shit. Why should it was oh, good. Hell yeah. turn your back good on cheap eating? Why should you never turn your back on a penguin? Then you oh, couldn't see devices. how cute it is, or because that's rude and it'll hurt their feel. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> you guys, when you were kids, you guys ever eat the or drink those uh, really, really cheap? Knock off Hawaiian punch things. They were like oh, quarter waters. Yeah, like 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 fifteen cent things. Just Did you call it cholera water? water? Ca no, quarter. 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 quarter water. Quarter water. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I drank the little wax bottles full of colorful fluid, but that mm. wasn't really a drink. It was more a candy, even though it was a drink. I had like an infinite supply of Capri Suns when I was younger. Uh, ew, look at this rich guy over here with his Capri Suns. <laughs> oh, yeah, they're also like 20 cents a fucking... <laughs> yeah, that's 15 cents more than what I paid for for my drinks and my steak and a haircut. I got jort wind. <laughs> it's Capris are a kind of jort, kind of, when you think about yeah, it. Yeah, I know, I get you, yeah. Oh. You want to hear a very uh, Ryan story? Yeah, please. I went... me, so I was on my jet ski on my private lake. <laughs> <laughs> my I went to a camp on spring break when I was in like second grade, uh, and it was at a different school. And my mom sent me with Capri Suns. And when I opened the lunchbox, I'd never seen that shit before in my entire life. <laughs> like this bag with a little spear attached to it? I had no idea. So I spent like 15 <laughs> minutes trying to find out how to put the straw in the thing. I swear yeah. to you, I stabbed the ev the obvious whole location where it goes in, tried to rip the top off, like cut a hole in the corner and then just drink it, and then I just fucking threw it in the trash. Huh. And I had well, a very yeah, thirsty that sounds lunch. Like you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I told you. You're right. In fairness, Capri Sun sometimes, man, you just like poke through the other side and be like, oh, fuck off. But then they had that dope commercial where all the kids turned into silver servers. Yeah, that was so nerds. cool. Yeah. I was so yeah. jealous of those kids, dude. That yeah. Capri Sun and Crossfire. That was all I wanted. As a fuck. <laughs> and I could never get. Oh either. shit! I fucked up. Let's see the responses. Although Sunny Delight oh, was there, and I would fuck with. Did dude, you ever Sunny notice Delight how Delight. old the kids were in the Nerf commercials? Like when you're a kid, you look up to them and like, oh, those kids are. They must know what's up with Nerf. Yeah. And then once you become an adult, you watch it and you're like, what? Yeah, they should get a yeah, job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are they doing? The name of a canine comedy club with puppy stand-up comedians. Ruru Rudy's Comedy Club, Great Danes, The Bark Factory, Barkland, or Woof? Some great answers here on this one. <laughs> you see, Dane Cook. Mm. Oh, oh it doesn't know. work if you have to explain it. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I also to put something alone. better. Like I liked it more until you like you explained it, and I want to take my vote back. Yeah. Sorry, I what like I meant to say was uh, the dog comedy club bark bark. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's much funnier. Actually. Yeah, that's hilarious. Yeah, yeah have, you, have you guys heard about uh, Bluebins? Uh, Don't actually, start. Good time. Yeah. It's not a comedy club now. Mm -hmm. Huh. Bark line. Yeah. <clears throat> Bluebins, huh? Yeah. Damn, second last, all right. Well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <good> deal. <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh, man. Chad, I don't think SawCon is a real thing. I don't think they made a freaking Jigsaw <laughs> Expo. Dude, Bear got Ligma today. Did you see it? Did he really? Bear oh. got Kana by uh, Sugan Nice. <laughs> Another I think a whole bunch of people gather together in like New York and go talk about Saw. 
No, they, they, they go through the games and try to survive. <laughs> I think it's like the it's new over. era Let's of Ligma is that people want to get got by Ligma. <clears throat> yeah. So then we have to want them to want to get got by Ligma. So when, Ligma? when Nick will lick my balls, <laughs> bitch. So when... Uh, <laughs> I want to point out, I, I I gave this to you guys in Discord, but somebody tweeted me and then deleted the tweet, and it was a brand new Ligma that they came up with, and I'm sure they read it right after and went, that doesn't make any fucking sense, so they deleted it, but it was still in my cache. So here's the Ligma, okay? You ready for this? Yeah. Here's a potential new Ligma for you. Have you ever launched an Estes rocket? And then they say, what's an Estes rocket? And you say, Estes rocket nuts. <laughs> What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> is rocket nuts? I don't get it. I also I am bringing it up just in case anybody I really can have parse no it. Idea. Because no. I when I saw the tweet and then I went to click on it to reply and be like, what? <laughs> it, when I clicked on it, it was like this tweet's deleted, and I'm like, I don't think so, buddy. This tweet's gonna live on forever. Ugh. Oh, those are a couple of bad answers. Yeah, oh no, mine are too. too. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, uh, not feeling uh, great in the old brain case area mm. right now. So Mondays, am I right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Do you have a case of the Mondays? <laughs> Got a bit of the Mondays. Monday and also a pounding headache. Got him. Why do you have a headache? I don't know. I get headaches all the time. That's a great way to make all his headache go away to Josh. Yeah. Like, how often? A couple times a week. Mm. So, like, what... Give, how bad? How, how severe would you say that they are? If I don't take painkillers, they always become, a, like, a debilitating headache where I just, like, can't do it. You can't do anything? No, not at all. Josh, you're giving me a headache. You then what happens? You can do anything you believe in. What well, is it called when you have, uh, like, the medical headache that's really painful? Migraine? Migraine, migraine yeah. nuts dangling on your forehead, bitch. Start your grain nuts? nuts? Brain, yeah. A great way yeah, to quickly get out of credit card debt. <laughs> ask the bank for a Ligma loan or ask him if they've ever heard of Estes Rockets. <laughs> I'm not in no vote. <laughs> <laughs> the height of humor. Wait till you see my next one, dude. What's S <laughs> Oh rocket? fuck, I'm fucked too. <laughs> I'm gonna run out of viewers here pretty soon. <laughs> Why are they all coming down with so good? Can you explain the rocket one to me? No, nobody knows. <laughs> yeah, it's very confusing. Maybe it's supposed to be like test these, yeah. like S these rockets. Oh, it's like S S D's rockets. S D's rockets. Like suck these rockets. It that way. It's Estes. Yeah. S D's rockets. I get it. It's still horrible. Oh no, it's like it's Spanish, you know. But what's rockets? It's rockets. It means suck my balls in Spanish. Yeah, you should call them Estes nuts. Let me. Oh, what's an Estes nut? You got S D's nuts, Dad. Spoiler alert, the big <laughs> plot twist in the Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants 7 is that the pants were Hitler's, or the pants had to be brought to a volcano and destroyed. And then he pulls down your pants and sucks on your nuts. <laughs> Bitch. What? You can't, you can't do that joke when the last time you did that joke, you said that the other person pulled yeah, your pants Yeah, pulled down. down my pants and sucked Because that's all I'm going to be able to think about. <laughs> I didn't actually, but it, it, it sounded like that. Hey, Ryan. Hmm. Do you like Imagine Dragons? Something you don't uh, like to see uh, when you so the answer is no. But I'm because not Imagine say... Dragon needs nuts over your face! <laughs> <laughs> it might work if it wasn't perhaps the most well-known band in rock and roll right now. <laughs> Something you don't expect to see when you spy on your neighbors. They are ordering two tickets to SawCon, <laughs> or Matt oh, Damon God. shrunk to one eighth his two normal size. Two tickets to SawCon. I think he got got that. Anybody gets my. I like votes. when Josh sings and ruins your I heard your that's own answer. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that's how they're doing the housing lottery now in uh, in New York. Is that you go to SawCon and you survive the game and then you get, uh, you get a house.
Is it sock on or sock on? Sock on. Sock on these nuts. <laughs> oh, wait, can you do that? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, That's was it an advanced the Ligma with the sock on? The, the best thing to shoot out of a cannon. D or done. infinitely smaller cannons. I believe the first one is a <laughs> reference to... Uh... I have two questions. Did anyone Wait, else have friends in high school or university that fancied themselves classical music fans but then merely listened to 10-hour compilations of Paco Bell's canon? And D, secondarily, Austin, was that you that was that friend? How rich were you when you were a kid? Uh, you listen, if you know what Paco Bell's canon is, you must be wealthy. Oh. If anyone in my high school admitted to liking classical music, they would have gotten mm -hmm. shoved yeah. in a locker. Oh yeah. Not that they should be. They <laughs> Our marble floors I, I weren't even like regularly polished. This yeah. Is fine. I have no idea what the fuck you're talking about. The password to the secret high society sex club down the street: Bluebins or Denny's. Did you ever, when you guys were kids, uh, find high-quality sturgeon from a local vendor? I had one, <laughs> just I had one, one friend who liked classical music. What orchestral piece are we listening to today, <laughs> friends? You should be doing this to Josh. I'm with you guys down in the trenches eating microwaved hamburgers. I didn't even have an A&W. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I'm just so confused. That's this sweet. entire 38 minutes has mm, just been... By what? Everything that you guys have been saying, like, I'm so behind. Yeah. I don't well, get I mean, it. Most of the memes have been from today, so you probably mm -hmm. shouldn't okay. be behind. Yeah. I know, but that's the problem. Like, I think the there's clue. something wrong with me. A weapon that should be added to the game clue. <laughs> Ligma or a weapon small enough to kill tiny Matt Damon? Who's oh, it's like all the Matt back. Damon question. I like Matt Damon, yeah. Tiny Matt Damon. Oh, is it the, the, the tiny Matt Damon movie that came out like four months ago? Is it, What's it called? a Matt Damon movie? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> no, no, there's a movie where Matt Damon becomes small so that they can afford a house or something. Ant-Man? <laughs> what? what? Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah I think you're thinking small house? it's Paul Rudd in Ant-Man. Yeah. <laughs> no, oh, Downsizing, that's what it's called, yeah. That's the okay, premise. Okay, I kind of want to watch that. That's yeah, the real thinking. premise of a movie. They shrink people so that they can have affordable houses. That's the movie. And then they what? fight crime. With the help of that. Apparently, apparently it was bad. <laughs> with the help of Hank. Yeah, it sounds super particles. really bad. How and then one happen? dog takes a leak on the entire neighborhood and it floods out. <laughs> I, I honestly I couldn't tell if that's a real plot. It, it is sounds a real like a good one. It. Does it still sound bad if it's directed by the guy who directed Sideways? Yes. Wow. There's nothing that saves that friend. Is this an all play? No. Okay. This isn't cranium. <laughs> wow, that's a man. I, I just gave a pretty vile answer, to be honest. But it is a it is a reference. So. Hmm. Is Raw Pud a good name? Spartan? Yeah, I like it. Right. Raw Pud. Did you just call him a Spartan? I said pardon. <laughs> it's what people with manners say. Raw <laughs> Pud would make a good Spartan. Raw Doll? Oh, yeah, I like that one. Raw Doll and the Funtown Flamer. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. What's a weird food you guys want to try? Uh. Tuna fish. Red tuna fish? <laughs> I feel like yeah. I've tried all the food I wanted to try. Uh, I want to try the caviar. Human. Sorry, what? Human. Yeah. human. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. I was going to say like something like snake, but yeah, human okay, sounds up there, too. Yeah, we go again that with the human. Really Mother, yeah. Mother Teresa's deepest secret. Mother Teresa's deepest secret. Actually just a horrible okay, person for real, or favorite. her dick? <laughs> Someone yeah. all right. is going to... Be in trouble for this one, <laughs> <laughs> and I, it's not gonna be me. So, uh... <laughs> Josh, <laughs> it's so clearly Josh. <clears throat> oh. <laughs>
<laughs> Are you like an evil villain? <laughs> Did you just move? Uh -huh. That's the most happy laugh I've ever heard. <laughs> What? I didn't know when Val spoke for me. Was she actually a bad person, though? Or would she, yes, like, a good person who also did some bad things? She did. she did some fucked up things. She really she? terrible things. It's voting done. The big conspiracy that nobody even suspects is it was me the whole time or Stevie Wonder can see. <laughs> Dude, that would shock <laughs> me to my core. Yeah, that'd be pretty wild. If he just took the sunglasses off and he had perfectly normal eyes underneath. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> if he had super like... eyes and you could see better than everyone. <laughs> If he just pulled that like on his deathbed, he's like, I could see this whole damn time. That was kind of racist to give him that <laughs> voice. Yeah, that was... <laughs> yeah, that's it. Unnecessary. Sorry. <laughs> it's honestly a real conspiracy, which is even better. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, no. could... like, I, don't think, I don't think most people really He caught a microphone? <laughs> Wait, you're telling me somebody <laughs> threw something at Stevie Wonder and he caught it with his hands? A great way to cure that. <laughs> First off, Whoever threw that, that's like your do or die moment. Because if you threw something at a blind man and it hit him in the face. The mic oh, fell no. and he caught it midair. That's even better. That's amazing. You well, could be legally he could have heard it, though. See a little. How? Well, the like, microphone was falling. Fine, what did he right? hear it through? A great yeah, way to like, cure the hiccups. Suck on these nuts or shrink Mac, Matt Damon down. Who's answering him. the Matt Damon answer? How often do you did things do things fall around Stevie Wonder that he misses them? So mm. maybe it's statistically possible that like he was playing <laughs> around, touched something, grabbed it real quick. Yeah, what they don't tell you is that the oh. rest of us. Like, yeah, like, how many times did he miss it? <laughs> how many <laughs> times did he miss the gosh darn microphone? He might be always <laughs> missing things falling, and this time he grabbed. It's uh, that's yeah. your point. Yeah. 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 An what if he's just grabbing at all times? An inappropriate. He's asked to play the piano with two hands. <laughs> Wait, An inappropriate thing to do at a cemetery, eat all the graves or Fortnite dances, you may go. Every time you play the piano is kind of like a mini grab. Right, yeah, yeah. Well, and also, you know, he's like, he's chomping that whole time, you know, he, he could be doing chomping? that. Yeah. Chomping? Yeah, he's like chomping. Well, it's like, well, I mean, like, he's got his mouth open, so he could be doing he's, that. He's singing. Thing. Well, yeah, yeah, but, he's, but then singing. if somebody, if somebody <laughs> threw something in his mouth, he could catch it that way, you know, just, just in case. Well, he's singing, like, uptight all right? Yeah, yeah, basically. Up down? Up down all around? <laughs> yeah. I did read the Stevie tweet. Wonder song, Uptown Funk. But it's never had Pepto Bismol before. That stuff is liquid candy, stars and eyes to emote. Yeah, I don't know <laughs> if he's aware that it's medicine. Yeah, <laughs> that does not taste good. It doesn't Someone taste bad. Someone makes your dance, it, well, makes I mean, dance okay. <laughs> it's Pepto. You said he'd never had it, but it's candy? It tastes like chalk and heavy cream, it's which is basically what it is, yeah. Make up a word that describes the sound of farting into a bowl of mac and cheese. The sound that good pussy makes or bark squelch. Yep. I bark squelch. Bark squelch. You guys yep. ever uh, have Pepto Bismol? Yes. Yeah, I haven't. Oh yeah. I, I have a bottle up on my desk over there. I have had it I before. You guys ever uh, have it turn your poop white? No, but that's not what? the thing. How much do I need the, to drink? The first time I had Pepto Bismol, I took a shit the next day, and my stool was white, like that's <laughs> like the color of <laughs> snow. How and much then, did you have? Well, I had like well, those normal serving. And Dude, then, was, I, did you think the normal serving was the entire Dude, no, bowl? dude, just let me finish the sentence. I looked <laughs> I it up online because I was Matt like, Damon. I'm gonna die. And what then the I fuck are these Matt Damon answers? <laughs> Who does this? Stop what your it. pancreas test revealed? Tiny Matt Damon lives inside of me, or your pancreas is Matt Damon but small? They're both, did, is Nick answering both of these? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't put Matt Damon even once yet. Oh, I, I can't see the answers for the first time, so I don't know who the fuck is doing Matt Damon. It's a mystery. I've never put Matt Damon. When you Matt Damon, it's a mystery. This is correct. Name's Matt it, Ryan. It was yeah. Rob and Ryan. It blocks you from... <laughs> actually, it's Alexander Payne. Rob Reiner directed Spinal Tap. Um, it's uh, It shuts down your, your bile duct so that your stomach doesn't get more upset. And bile is what makes your poop brown. So sometimes you can poop... Weird colors. Because I looked it up. Because as soon as I shit and I looked in the toilet, it was snow shit. I was like, I am dead this week. There's no yeah, way no, you live it. with white shit. It's over, yeah. And I looked it up online, and there's a bunch of people that were like, am I dying? And they're like, nah, it's just Pepto-Bismol. It looks like ash. Yeah, it was fucked up, dude. That's not good at like all. Your, yeah. Like your shit was a log that burned in the fire, and that's what's left of it. Are you sure you're not gonna die now? I mean, that was like six years ago. Probably still gonna die someday. 
All right, got to pop that one in quick just before uh, someone else <laughs> jinxes me. You ended the same thing as someone else. Try again. <laughs> you put Tiny Matt Damon? <laughs> Stop it. You think Matt Damon wants to be filled with cheese? Maybe he does. Oh, man. Ryan, tell him to stop it. Why? Because I said so. Well, then I feel like you wrote. should you should tell me. No, I don't like them. Something yeah. you right. shouldn't stuff this? with cheese. Dad, tiny Mad Damon, your wife, maybe. Mad Damon, unless you shrink the cheese too. Mother Teresa, <laughs> or tinier Mad Damon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, unless you shrink the cheese too, because I don't want him to get all bloated. Yeah. And Dad also gets one. How much cheese do you guys think you could eat in a day? Probably like a whole block. Like, like a half a meal. meal. Over a kilogram, I would think. I don't know how much. What kind of cheese? Is. Any of like my pick? Yeah. Something oh. mild, or I'd hate the flavor after too much. You, you guys ever see those big giant wheels of Parmesan? Like yeah. Parmesan yeah. Reggiano? Yeah, they roll them right out. Of those? I wouldn't eat day? Parmesan. No. Parmesan would not be my cheese of choice. Yeah, probably craft yeah. singles. No, I don't like crafting. I would probably do like a an, a, a Havarti. Oh, okay, yeah. I still can't get down alone. I just can't um, mess with it. Oh, dude, I like I, I'm all for it. I could probably yeah. even get a ton of provolone. Yeah, you don't like oh, cheese alone because I'm very pro alone. Sylvester. <laughs> what if he was eating it on a motorcycle though? <laughs> you guys ever have the, uh, the German know. Munster cheese? Because I've never had that. Munster is good. Once is good, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty what, good. What if, what if that cheese became a, a popular artist? Post Malone? Yeah. Oh, I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that, that would be it. after the Malone phase, would be that. What? Who's Post Malone? He's a cheese. He is a type of cheese. I don't understand. He is cheese? He Look, is. This is what you get for Ligma Meta, all right? Yeah. He that's is cool, cheese. Man. That's yes. the thing, is that you guys. Roll your eyes at Ligma, Let's and then you go like, mm, "These jokes are not Gouda." <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> Nobody said that. Did you say that? Yeah, no, I know. I couldn't come up with a joke as bad as the one you guys said. I so came I in dead last, Justin. <laughs> congratulations for being the champion. Thank you. Have you guys heard of our Lord and Savior Blubin? He said Savor. <laughs> <laughs> Josh yeah. yeah, you know, I, you ever think about that? Is the screen saver? Why isn't it a screen savior? You know, mm. no one what about a screen saver? saver? Yeah. Oh, now I'd like that. Yeah, that would be a lot of fun. I had the cube from Hellraiser as a screen saver for a while. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. I liked those. I never saw oh, yeah. them. Oh, you should, Josh. They're great. I don't it's think I like them. Twisted. It's very gory, so I don't know. If Ew, like that gory. sounds bad. I don't like gore, yeah. If you don't like gore, then definitely do not watch Hellraiser. Oh, but it sounded so family friendly. <laughs> <laughs> What's yeah, but this it's like... one? Well, honey, have you heard of this one? <laughs> Hellraiser with the black on red text and the demon with the needles sticking out of his skull on the cover. <laughs> yeah, but they got stuff like Ghost Rider, and that's just Nicolas Cage with a weird <laughs> screaming match with fire. <laughs> hmm. Ooh. NL's Manus fight is the dumbest thing I've ever seen, mm. and I love it. Yes. Rob, your Why are you stuff on that you right do now? is is funny when <sighs> you're playing Dark Souls. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> he R just uh, went in there and mashed R1 until Manus fell over dead. <laughs> yeah. Sounds like Dark Souls. Fella, uh, that's silly. Into horror movies. Are you the horror movie type? Nope. I am. What is your favorite horror movie? Okay, My favorite here we go. The thing. Signs. Spy oh, Kids 3D. Hellraiser. <laughs> <laughs> Why did the mortician cross the road? Okay, to reach the body's terrible favorite. accident, or to see where he sent his clients? What's your favorite movie? A uh, horror movie, Justin? I would probably say. Evil Dead and Evil Dead 2. Mm. It's a little combo pack. For Evil, Evil Dead, the, the first one, you, 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 you put that up there? Uh, probably the second you one. Just... Yeah. The first one. For a long time, Evil Dead 2 was also my favorite movie. 
Yeah, Evil Dead the 2 horror is movie. very good, yeah. yeah. But then I turned oh. 6. <laughs> <laughs> just, oh. just joking. Oh. I really like it. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Ar it's and Army of Darkness is wonderful. Mm. I, I need to see that. Nasty. Army of, you would love Army of Darkness. I would probably love Army of Darkness. Dude, and then yeah. it, Sam Raimi like almost rebooted it in 2009 with Drag Me to Hell and its sequel, The Devil Wears Prada. <laughs> That's the, right. A historical event that would make a bad theme for a restaurant. The Trail of Tears or the release of the 2018 film Downsizing. <laughs> that is a historical event, yeah. It is historical. These Matt Damon jokes are killing me, man. <laughs> 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 Gets me Are every you like time. preparing to watch? Did you watch this movie on a plane or something? <laughs> no, Kate did. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> Were you the one that started this? Yes. All right. Well, I mean, so wait, how, did Kate like it? No, she hated it. Okay. Yeah, what else has Matt Damon been in lately? Oh, dude, he's in everything. Is yeah. he though? I feel like he used to be in everything. He's alright. If he's, there's a movie in like, space, he from, Matt Damon. He went from Mars in. Rover to. Downsizing, yeah. What really pisses off a ghost? Ghost taxes or when it's pissed on? That's you know, ironic, weird. isn't it? Off and on at the same time. Better, better to be pissed off than pissed on. Mm. I always say. Do you say that? Said My it. piss is shit that? and it's rolling around. I've, I've said that before. Yeah. <laughs> the, um, uh, you know what's weird? A weird no. role for Matt Damon? <laughs> when he was that angel? No, Dogma. That made more sense because he was friends with Kevin Smith. Mm. Oh, that oh, made more sense. He oh, when he rolls a seven on a d6, that's a weird nah. roll. The weird roll was, you know, he played that guy that sang <laughs> right, Scotty God. Doesn't Know. Oh, in yeah, Euro in Eurotrip. Yeah. Really? yeah. It's literally, he's a, he's a bit oh, role in like a shitty comedy movie from like the mid 2000s. He was probably People bummed like in that movie. Tracked him, yeah, I mean, I, I kind of liked it when I was a kid. What is the Loch Ness Monster really? God damn it. A big dog or it's not <laughs> Matt Damon because it's far too big. Yeah. Was Matt Damon the guy whose hand got possessed by the devil and then he had to like chop it off? That's not that's, a Euro trip. That's idle that's hands. Eagles. Yeah. Well, who was in that? Uh, Jake Busey. And then, oh, uh... Wait, you sure you're not talking about Evil Dead? Yeah, I think you're thinking Evil no, Dead. No, no, I'm thinking Idle Hands. I know Nick. Hands. He's great. talking about Idle Hands. All they right. talked about it all the time on MTV. I think Brecken Meyer might have been in that. I can't remember. Oh, Brecken. That's the name. Next Wiki. Up, Breck, Idle Ralph, Hands. Name a new movie, name a new movie starting starring a talking goat who is president of the United States. Huh. A better timeline 2018 or the 2016 <laughs> election? <laughs> it stars Devin Sawa, Seth Green... El Eldon Hansen, who played Fulton Reed in the Mighty Ducks trilogy, oh, and okay. Vivica A. Fox. Oh, yeah. Vivica what happened to so Vivica bad. A. Fox, actually? I mean, she's been in a lot of things. How many? Recently, though? Yeah. Is she A. Fox, though? I, Rob, she, I'm on her filmography. She's been yeah. in, like, 40 movies since 2015. Hmm. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Are there she are any of them known? Uh... I mean, well, one of them here is called Chocolate City. Did you see that one? <laughs> oh, yeah, I love that movie. It's really good. Did you see Bring It On Worldwide Cheer Smack? <laughs> it sounds oh, like yeah, a she's... fake Bring It On movie parody. The worst thing to whisper during Pillow Talk. Ligma, please. Or you ever think about Trump after sex? Why not during? <laughs> you know why wait <laughs> kind of rev up or something yeah. I like it yeah that's funny I got tweeted many videos and of they what? say is Stevie Wonder really blind <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> is this I a real really conspiracy theory? It really is. It really Man, is. I actually love the olden days when conspiracy theories were about Stevie Wonder being blind and right? not about, like the lizard and people. And not like the deep state. Yeah, yeah. Like, still, like trying to fuck people in pizza places and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it is, right and it's on Reddit. <laughs> That's... <laughs> lizard people are real, jackass. That's what they say about that. Yeah, that's what that's they say point, about yeah. that. <laughs> Mm. 
No, oh, that's a great, that's a great prompt. Is it? I gave the, the terrible prompt a terrible answer. My goal. Did you? Does it rhymes with at gaming? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> you removed the first letter, but then changed the second. I yeah, okay. <laughs> At Gaiman. <laughs> <laughs> At Gaiman. I love all the different like yeah. um, variations in chat. At Gaiman. Stevie Wonder's <laughs> real name is Stevland. Dude, did you know Oprah's real name is Orpa? Stevland. Orpa? Orpa. Let's tell Orpa. Stevland Orpa. Is she a seal? <laughs> Her name is Orpa. I'm like she was a showgirl. She changed it to Oprah. That sounds like Orpa. something that would follow the title Godzilla vs. <laughs> <laughs> An inappropriate thing to say via skywriting. Dash, 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 dash. Suck on these nuts. Dash, 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 dash. Or the deep state is watching. I appreciate that you made a banner almost. Yeah. I like yeah, you know how you're like when they do skywriting, there's always a bunch of dashes before and after. Yeah. Anytime I've what's, seen that. What, what's with the exploding of use of the word deep in 2018? Deep state, deep fakes, deep cuts. There's <laughs> all these deep, pizza. The deep dish yeah. pizza. Everything's deep lately. Yeah, everybody likes deep stuff. See, I'm still a fan of big over deep. Yeah. yeah, I'd rather have a big more. than a deep nut. Deep, deep, deep is dude, more. It would be way funnier if it were the big state. <laughs> it would be like if big state were, were conspiring. <laughs> the most stereotypical country song title: pickup truck, the song, or just a truck ranch, Levi Bud Light. Yeah, <laughs> like that. You guys listen to Yodel cool Kids uh, EP yet? That oh, really happened. Huh? He's got like a re he's got original songs on it now. Dude, where do you he, think there's like do you think he's gonna go on tour and do you think anyone's gonna follow it? Dude, do you think there's gonna no roll? doubt he's gonna open for some like Kenny Chesney or something. Kim McGraw. No, there's like I an adult was, man uh, who's following his tour. <laughs> Yo, Mason. He's following. Uh, he's uh, headlining for that kid with the white bands. I heard. What? Damn, Daniel. Yeah, that's the one. Yo, but Yodel Kid is talented. <laughs> Yo, Del Kid. Dan Daniel's pretty talented too. Yeah, like Yodel true. Kid and the guy who played the Yo, you're getting the Del Kid. And the Del. <laughs> <laughs> the hardest thing about being Batman, thinking about your best friend Matt Damon or pooping upside down. God damn it, it kind of makes sense because George Clooney played Batman once. Excuse me. Ben <laughs> Affleck. Say, oh, ben Affleck? He's upside Wait. down, he'd poop upside down. <laughs> Oh, that too. Yeah, I forgot about that part. You Fuck should vote Batman. for pooping upside down. I've kind of like burned Ben Affleck's Batman out of my mind as a thing mm -hmm. that happened, to be honest. So he was Batman. Ah, oh, you son of a him. bitch. He With is the Batman. fucking Matt Damon. You Who beat me. Rose Batman. Uh, Val, Kilmer. Val Kilmer, yes. That was like yeah. the last Batman in my heart. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I honestly, I didn't like. I, don't know, I didn't realize that there was a new Batman trilogy. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, the like, Christopher Nolan ones? No, so like, here's the thing. When people mention the Batman trilogy, I thought like Val Kilmer, Kiss from a Rose, Batman was like the second part <laughs> of the trilogy. And the first one was Michael Keaton. And yeah, now people really love them. Yeah. And I'm like, man, it's crazy that they tied all these together. When they said like, I can't <laughs> wait for this new Batman movie to come out, Batman Begins. <laughs> and you're like, no, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I saw it in 1988. It, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and people were like, oh, have you seen the new Batman trilogy? I'm like, oh, like the first two parts for <laughs> Have you seen? <laughs> you you are a, a, an entire Batman actor behind by this point, you know. You're you're amazing. You're actually like four <laughs> Batman actors behind. Next. Yeah. George Clooney, Chris, Christian Bale, Ben Affleck. <laughs> There's one more probably. That's, the, that's three. Yeah. The real way you can tell an alligator from a crocodile: read a book, you dummy, or who gives a shit? They both bite. <laughs> that's a good yeah. point. Fair point. Yeah. I'm just happy there's not a fucking Matt Damon answer. You know what's a really good <laughs> franchise? Matt Damon. What's that? Mission Impossible. 
Mm. I saw the first two. I don't think I've seen anything after that. Yeah, I think I might be out with you, Josh. Actually. Two is horrible. Well, no, that's two why is I great. Two is horrendous. Two oh, is no. hilarious because it's John Wu directed. Yes. Who, which is also the guy who directed Face Off. Correct. Up. Yeah. So what it's about amazing. an Italian restaurant called Mission okay, in Pasta Bowl? Mm. <laughs> oh, well, I like that. Dude, and oh, then when yeah. you finish the pasta, you get to the, the bottom. You... <laughs> I, I can't. <laughs> We're about a uh, we're about that's what you just said. maybe six weeks away from every stream I do being just me. It's just gonna be me. Get, you know how freaking frustrating it is to get four words into a thirty word sentence and have everyone go. What are you stupid? He said the word differently than the way that I say the word. He literally said mission and it only works when it's mission impossible. Doesn't work with mission impassable. <laughs> <laughs> hey, jump over this hurdle. I don't know. It seems pretty impassable. To me. <laughs> it works, though. <laughs> <laughs> that literally makes sense. <laughs> it makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. You had such a solid argument, and you found the one fucking word that. Shut hey, that shut up didn't over there. Work. <laughs> I feel like half of the people think that Josh just owned me, and half of the people think Josh owned himself, but nobody's sure because it's just loud noises. Hell oh, yeah. Oh, fuck. There, there's a theme song for the Olympics? Yeah, I never heard it. I thought it was just a do. That's the Olympic song. I liked it. Oh, dude, actually, side note, I watched uh, a little bit of uh, Pacific Rim Uprising yesterday. Oh, it's where did you really... uh, see that? Because I was looking for it on Netflix and <laughs> HBO oh, Go and all of the no, legal no. Uh, video uh, sharing hypo portals. Hypothetically and, uh... speaking, I watched a little bit of it, and hypothetically, it was fucking garbage. <laughs> it's really bad, yeah. You only so. get what you pay for. The title yeah, you'd come up funny. with if you were writing the Olympics theme song, Smacking My Olymp Dick on Your Forehead? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get it until you said it. Yeah, Miss no. Sean oh, Impossible. Know. Miss Sean Impassable. Rings and Countries. Olympus. Or Olympic oh. underscore theme one dot flack. I didn't get Olympus either until you it's said that. Lost. Really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, all right. I like that. Bang, 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 bang. Josh Reed. No. <laughs> you think they're ever gonna cast the different Ethan? I voted for that, Justin. I mean, Thank some. You very much. I think when Tom Cruise is done, or when it becomes ridiculous, that yeah. franchise is done. Because I don't yeah, think. I, I think so too. I don't think it's a. Uh... Wait, I don't think anybody cares about Mission Impossible. I think yeah. it's just that the movies keep being surprisingly awesome. Now it's not Mission Impossible? Like when he dies or <laughs> gives up on the role, like, yeah. they're gonna be like, I'm not gonna go see or new Mission Impossible. Passable. Or goes to jail! Yeah, <laughs> I might go to jail, yeah. Tom Cruise is gonna, gonna go, go to, to jail? jail? He's caught up in fucking the church, dude. He's a Scientologist. He's but... fucking the church. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's fucking the church? He's but it's not well, illegal to be a Scientologist. Well, we in case you're not yeah, yeah, yeah. in case yeah. you're not familiar, Hillary lost in 2016. <laughs> Bernie still has a chance though. Yeah. The um Oh, you well, gotta yeah. fact check this. You can't just say he owns child slaves. <laughs> I need to see like a. I need to see you some to documentation see or something. You can't just I, say I heard he has a he has child slaves who clean his house. 
Well, I'm just saying, I watched that Leah Ramini lady who was on King of Queens. Oh, um, previously Kevin in... James' wife. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so that lady was previously in Scientology, and she was like, yeah, motherfuckers got sleeves in Scientology. So when, he, when she said motherfucker, did she mean motherfucker as in Tom Cruise? Or did she mean motherfuckers <laughs> as in all of these people? She did talk about Tom Cruise specifically. But, you know. But did she say that Tom Cruise owns slaves? She didn't say... I'm, I'm not sure she said that specific thing. You would be no. the worst witness in a trial. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not the person. Every I'm question gets, hand. like, an answer with ten threads coming off I'm of it to pull up. I'm giving you second-hand information. <laughs> it's a yes should, or no question. That, you'd be a terrible lawyer if you put me on the stand. That's oh, true. yeah, I heard somebody else told me about this thing that I heard from somebody else who said, who the fuck are you putting that guy on the All stand All I'm saying is if you ever end up on the stand protecting me and they ask you if I own slaves, <laughs> just say no. <laughs> don't, don't say, well, I never saw him, which is <laughs> technically true, but also extremely damning. <laughs> anyway, let's take some time to pimp our channels. Why don't we start with Justin? Hey, I'm E.T. Justin. You can find me on Twitch pretty much every weekday at noon and also 6 p.m. And on weekdays at uh, weekends at 9. Weekdays. And, uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> did I actually say that? that was... Yeah, oh, you did, yeah. That's <laughs> I prefer the strong one. <laughs> you know, yeah. I was generated from the uh, bottom. <laughs> and I, I, I've been playing some No Man's Sky. It's actually very good. <laughs> It is. Dude, I've been digging it. You got a freighter yet? Uh, yeah. He's played for 10 minutes, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever think that uh, you can't play No Man's Sky because you are a man? Mm, uh, good point. Well, yeah, that's why it feels good to play it. I shouldn't oh, be it's, here. It's so good it ought to be illegal. Boy. Yeah, yeah. How about you, Austin? Uh, Twitch.tv slash last underscore grand underscore wolf also playing a lot of No Man's Sky. In fact, I think me and Justin are going to continue playing No Man's Sky right now if you want to yeah. come watch. It's, gonna it's be literally great. just been all tabbed to this last hour. Yeah, we haven't even <laughs> closed the game. Oh, the shaders. Uh, the shaders. You don't have to load the shaders again. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, we're going to do that and probably play more tomorrow and the next day and the next day. Yeah, it's not like day. I invited both of you guys to play No Man's Sky. <laughs> I, had to, look, I said I might <laughs> join and I had no, a headache. And the headache didn't go away for like six hours. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Rob. <laughs> about you, Robert. Yeah, I'm Rob, also known as Alpac Patrol. You family Alpac Patrol everywhere, Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube. Also, discord.gg slash Alpac Patrol. Uh, we do movie night every Saturday. Um, and I'll probably do the bounty tomorrow, so that'll be a thing. I gotta install it. But, Man, I uh, hope it's not also, for Rainbow Six Siege. <laughs> missions in Ghost Recon Wildlands. I was gonna, yeah, I was wondering about what you were doing with that thing, but um, also, I know a fair bit of you don't care, but Madden comes out on Wednesday, so I'm going Ooh. to be streaming a fuckload of that, and that's going to be very Ooh. exciting. And also, we're doing an online league with Dan Giesling, Crendor, uh, Sinvicta, Wolves of My Door, and a couple other people, so uh, we're gonna do an online franchise mode, uh, and it'll be a fun time. Sick. Huh. You know what? They should stop calling it Madden and just start calling it football. They should call it uh, the Happy Den. <laughs> all right. Well, I'm, all right, yeah. I'm sorry to tell you, uh, John and Nick, that you've just lost your right to do <laughs> shoutouts because Austin ruined the show. So. All right. Oh, I don't fuck. <laughs> if only there was a word that was similar to mad. <laughs> represented the, a conflicting emotion that would have fit better than, than happy to. Um, how, how about you, Josh? Yeah, I pass. All right, Nicholas. <laughs> it's finally day of chasm. I'm going to be streaming it in two hours. Said I can stream it at 11 instead of 12. So come back in a little bit and we'll be starting it up finally. After five oh. years of anticipation, I'm finally free. Dude, I'm not suggesting that it will. But what if you boot it up and it's horrible? 
<laughs> like, what, if, what if it's just an absolute garbage fire? Then I'll host your channel. Do you feel better? I'm not going to be live! <laughs> wow, Ryan. He'll really? host it anyway. Jeez, Ryan. Let's uh, host it when I'm live, at least. Why are you such a jerk? What are you yeah. talking about? I was just That's suggesting. Like literally just... Selfish man. Jesus Christ. I'm just suggesting. What if it's I'm bad? I'm just suggesting that you stop being so rude. <laughs> it's not rude. No, I want you to apologize to Nicholas right now. Nick didn't make the game. I want you to apologize. <laughs> Nicholas, right. right now. Nick, I'm sorry. That's all right. <laughs> I mean, Nick, I haven't yeah. played it beyond the demo. I've been waiting all this time, so I mean, there's a chance now, that it's Nick, not Nick, you great. have to apologize to Ryan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting on right. this for a long time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Josh, you should apologize to Rob, I think. You should probably yeah, apologize you really should. to me. No, Rob, you suck. You Ryan, all... you suck. Fuck See, you. This is exactly why. Justin, you're you're apologize. probably the only person here that I respect. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Red Austin, Man, thank you for you that. Need to apologize to Ryan. <laughs> Austin, yeah. thank you. Nick, thank you. Why Austin. fuck me? What did I do? <laughs> I don't know, man. He's like make me mad. <laughs> what? <laughs> what did I do? You had to ask. If you have to ask, you'll never know. All right. Well, I'm going to apologize to Josh. Fuck you. We're cool. Fuck you. I'm out. All right. Oh, it's over. Let me see what Kate's going to play. Let me see. Yo, I got great news for all you, everybody in chat that wants to see the Neon Genesis Evangelion podcast. Kate's going to be playing Magical Girl Dungeon over at Twitch.tv slash Lovely Momo, a game by Fruit Bat Factory, the same developers as the people who made 100% Orange Juice. That wasn't a debate. If you like one, you probably like the other. It's all this, it's the same sort of thing, you know? You know what I mean? Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? Anyway, I gotta figure out when I'm gonna be live tomorrow. But I'm gonna be live tomorrow at some point. We'll figure out, me and Kate will work out together when we're gonna be live. For now, just know that I will be live. Playing something, worst case scenario, smallest case scenario, Team Unity. That'll be at like 4 p.m. But I would like to be live before then. But we'll figure it out. For now, I'm going to read out a bunch of names. <clears throat> the smallest case scenario. Play Chasm tomorrow? Nah, I heard that game sucks. <laughs> Big YouTuber told me that game sucks. I'll never play it unless it's good. In which case, I will possibly play it. But we don't know. Um... I don't know, briefly, I read everything in chat in Michael Caine's voice from the 1968 film The Italian Job. I hope it's good, too. Michael Caine from the 1968 film The Italian Job. Um, from The Italian Job. <laughs> oh, Dan Casey. Nice of you to finally arrive. So this is what becomes a show called Unity. Do the energy crystals? <laughs> we'll find the energy crystals. We'll find Dr. Wowie. <laughs> Master Wayne. Get my car, Jeffrey. I don't know what that... Am I Jeffrey because I'm speaking British? or And that's a butler's name? Or am I supposed to say, get my car, Jeffrey? The prestige. When does the funny part of the show start? Tomorrow. Ten to ten. That's <laughs> so. One second. Michael Caine prestige quotes. He's got some good lines in this movie, dude. Every great magic trick consists of three parts of X. 
The first part is called the pledge. All right, I'm losing it. Yeah, it's becoming like New Zealand. <laughs> the magician shows you something ordinary. A deck of cards, a bird, or a man. He shows you this object. Perhaps he asks you to inspect it, see if it's indeed real, unaltered, and normal. It's gone. Goodbye, Corey. <clears throat> it's getting worse. I think Michael Caine is a singular actor. <laughs> Why wax these windows when you can wash these drawers? <laughs> it's like goofy. What? <laughs> Why wash the windows when you could wax these drawers? Not a good Goofy. I'm gonna go because I'm feeling Goofy. Mathman7, Brandon the Fish, with subscriptions to Pure Stealth Ninja Meme Man 420XX, Demon's Vone 88, gifted a sub to Chef Savage. Northern Lions Hair gifted a sub to Max Meme Max. Brandon the Fish gifted a sub to Alpaca Patrol. Zappler, Bompsy, Gladeid. Matt Chi the third, Sergeant Lemon, Bryn Jamin, Tricky Door, Dystopian Freak, I Can't Be Hop, Greedy, Ungoliant, To Scott, Tester Muse, Multi G Man, Piter Python, Play Corruption of Champions, Masu Keaton, N Mazurin, Balrog Link, Some Plain Old Guy, Gleetsack, Uncaring Stone One, Greek Boy 99, BME02, Gun Treads, N L and Dan Yaoi, Fanfic writer. Don't think I don't know what that is. I just told you I will read out anything for $5. I know what it is. I'm going to read it regardless. Revel Waldo Infectus, Ursa Machina, Ursa Machina, The Fennec Fox Guy, Sir Fat 99, Eric Firebeard, Solar Samurai 24, Ebi Lizard, Ebi Lizard, Yahweh Fantasy. Please stop. Play Trials. In Tainted Space. Hummus Fiend. Blue Warden 2. Dashed 1035. Lupialak. Nine Spoons. The Gak 221. Bullhorn. Jaffa Mafia. Hamilton Matt. Bemo 11. James Bonder 007. Tuscan Garlic Chicken Raider. Aura Hunt. A Fine Egg. Razzle Pants. The Hippie Kami V2. Board Maxter. Lexington Badger. Elixty. Weighty. Sketchy Hero Plays. Froba's Wiz. I like the Vite, Kappa Calculus, Audio Accelerator, Mr. Meaner TV, The Squan Father, Cool Q Cucumber. Cool Cucumber, that's it. Yep, that makes way more sense. Tropic Tales, Billy Bob 876, hand me the mic, and I rock like a vandal. Grim Galactus, Lorelei, Demon's Vone 88. Olendvacook, Compact Potato, Ryan Wolf 21. Chubby Fit, Sequel, Squirtle. K the Cook, Eagle Coat, The Bagel Slinger, Zenny312, Bentley the Turtle, Skinny Stompin', Bolty19, DJ Morsey, Fancy Pants, Shady Sandwich, Jer J. Lauren4077, Cosmonow, Grubler, Oakleaf Gaming, McCads90, Jack, Jack Aurelio Voltaire, Simple Finchy, Certain, Arnav, Haraloon, Jorge Sixtoes, Nuclear Shrimp 346. This is Career Suicide. Sweet Leaf Pony. Forgebot Vendor. Jarell. JT the Chocolate Sailor. Dragonfire 973. Illegitipod. Time. Full Embathre. I tried. I Heart Bobs 2. Rapine. Game of Throws. Ekimet. Solon of Athens. The, 20, the 21st Potato. Brandon the Fish. Gifted a subscription to Chef Boyardee's Nuts. Shaizu. Aki the Fourth, the Boom Bus, Zoltorian, Nicholas IVT, Phoebe nineteen ninety seven, Thunder Rainbow, Hard Scoop, Triskali, Sotseer, Northern Lions Hair, gifted a sub to Gaiman, the Cando Crayon, Corpse three four seven, JC Delacroix, Danny Boy, Mister Mitzelplick eighty three, Hakelu, One Mean Butterbean, the Code Machine, Scoot Senpai, Toast BH, Pulse Lane, Shellback twenty seven, and Pi and Guy number seven. Thank you very much for the subscription. Thanks for watching. Thanks for making an effort to watch that ad block. I'm going to throw it over to Kate at twitch.tv slash lovely momo. See you at a later juncture. So. <laughs>